Welcome to the near future. Welcome to a world reawakened to magic. Welcome to a cyberpunk fantasy future and an extra supersized TBD RPG. We are playing Entromancy. <laughs> new cyberpunk horn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited already. Entromancy is a wonderful uh, new game that you are going to be hearing all about tonight. But first, I need to take a moment to appreciate my players. Look at y'all. You look amazing. My name is Amy Dallin. I'm going to be leading tonight's adventure. But if you would please first introduce your regular person self right. before we get to all this. <gasps> Hello, I'm regular person Whitney Moore. <laughs> I'm regular person self Becca Scott. I'm regular person Stephanie Woodburn. I'm mostly regular Gina DeVivo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have more yogurt. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you're <laughs> <yogurt. laughs> Yeah. Boom. <laughs> it's a poop joke, Jenna. I got your poop joke. joke. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Ooh. We are. When is Uma's revenge? <laughs> Today we are playing Entromancy. It is a cyberpunk fantasy RPG. It's very pretty, which is why I'm showing you the book. Uh, it is a cyberpunk urban fantasy D20 role playing game set in San Francisco in the late 21st century. A quarter of the world's power now runs on ceridium, a newly discovered element that has had the unintended consequence of spawning new races of humankind and several forms of magic that were once thought to have been forgotten. Ooh. Players take the roles of human and auric, yeah, this is our word for the magical things that have reawakened into the world, and auric characters in a futuristic, technology-driven, magic-rich world complete with espionage, spell casting, hacking, and engaging action sequences. Uh, just if, if I don't make them engaging, just assume they are. The game <laughs> is great. Uh, you... So, the, so ever... Technology is ever present, but several forms of forgotten magics have resurfaced uh, for better and for worse. You can choose from five diverse species and five unique classes from the dual pistol wielding revolutionary to the magic savvy technomancer. I believe we have a technomancer at this table. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the techno very literally uh, to my great delight <laughs> to create your character and begin your story. Progress your character by taking on challenging missions and eventually embracing one of five brutally powerful destinies. Will we get there tonight? I don't know. Definitely. We're just playing our first adventure. I will. You you are very determined. Yes. I'm excited. Indeed. We will learn a little bit more about why you all are going to be very excited. Uh, the gameplay for this game, I'm delighted to say, will be familiar to many of you. It's based on the same D20 system that we use for the fifth edition of the world's most popular role-playing game. Uh, this is a streamlined is version of that, simultaneously mm -hmm. allowing for exciting action and storytelling while providing for a great deal of depth. Uh, can confirm. I really enjoyed the, like, they've just distilled down the skills a little bit, uh, limited sort of your starting choices uh, in character creation. There's op there's also details, uh, there's also options available for more detailed character creation, but it's a very fast start, like, use this sheet, customize it a little bit, you're ready to go. Uh, it's easy onboarding for new players, engage in action-packed gameplay with spellcasting, hacking, cybernetics, and much more. Uh, there are also, in this world, Three different factions. Ooh la la. I'm gonna assume that you all coordinated and have picked the same faction. It's gonna be great. <laughs> this is the smile of a person who knows they did not all pick the same faction, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, there are in-game mechanical ways to use faction if you want to as a way to enhance your gameplay uh, and earn reputation over time in a way that'll be familiar to a lot of RPGers. Uh, you can use... Uh, increase your standing with Entrancy's three competing factions while attempting to make your mark on a world that has become fractured after years of population explosion, socioeconomic tension, and magic-based warfare. And... If any of this sounds good, which it darn well should, you can learn more about the Entromancy world and lore with Entromancy Book One of the Night Path Trilogy uh, and dive deeper into this near-future fantasy world. And with that, all of you have accepted 
a certain mission. You've accepted a mission from the night agents, uh, but who, may I ask, has answered this call? Uh, Nelda Murphy, night yeah. agent in training. <laughs> just want to say uh, I am a night agent. I just really need to earn my stripes before they'll consider me a full night agent. Uh, so I've completed over 300 missions, but apparently that's not good enough if you're an auric amongst humans trying to improve yourself. Now Still working at it. what sort of auric are you? Well, uh, I am a uh, night path, night agent. You know, I use shadow magic. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically good at, uh, you know, melee attacks. I call it my shadow siphon. I don't know if you want to see it. It's pretty dangerous. People might get hurt. And uh, something I won't tell you about, because it's my secret weapon. Excellent. How have your human coworkers been in this government agency that helps to police the magical community that you are trying to climb the ranks of? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's tough. I'll say, uh, d double whammy being uh, a dwarf, and a lot of them are humans. And um, you know, I do my best, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rat anybody out. You know, I'm not Hell gonna. Yeah. People, they're they're fine. They're cool. They may mess with me, and that's fine. No snitches. No snitches. Hell yeah, dog. Uh, will you spell your name for me? Me? Yeah. Nelda. Nelda. N e l d a. Nelda. Excellent. Murphy. Nelda Murphy, welcome to the team, Nelda Murphy. Just call me Murph. Nelda Murphy is the first uh, member of the team that's going to be taken on tonight's mission. Uh, has been assigned here by her night agency uh, superiors uh, and will be joined tonight by a few friends. Ah, uh, DJ Self Destruct in the house. <laughs> What's up, baby? I'm just here. To have a good time, you know? I'm just here to have fun with my friends. I heard I was DJing some sort of mission after party. I don't really know where I go. In fact, one of my powers, it's called Call a Ride. I can just get, I can just get us out of here wherever we need to go. You know, my fave thing is uh, I like to get those uh, anti-gravity limos. You know, we can party in. Uh, I'm uh, working on a secret project right now. Oh, here, wait. Let me get a little background music while I tell you about some uh, tell you about some uh, music of mine. Oh hell yeah, dude! This is my jam. This is called "Drones Are Our Friends." Yeah, so I'm actually working on a project right now, and it's called Padrone, and it's my friend. It's a drone that's also a sin, and also it's a bottle of Patron. So uh -huh. it's like. Padrone, you know what I mean? It's like it's like a play on words. I'm really smart and shit. So, uh, anyways, that's me. Uh, I'm 69, 420 years old, and uh, yeah, that's me, DJ Self Destruct. This song slaps. I'm so good. And what do you look like, DJ Self Destruct? What do I look like? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I'm like. I'm like half, uh, I'm a, I'm a high auric, which means I'm like, I'm like elfish, but I'm also like, I got a robot nose. Nice. You How know. You get a robot nose. Oh, I bought it. I didn't like my old one. You know, it's the future. Body mods are real popular. I also have a couple other robot body parts, but like, I don't tell, talk about that unless you know me, you know, it's like. It's like, you know, just be what you want to be. That's what DJ Self-Destruct always says. Just do what you want to do. Whatever knows you want, you can have. Padron! Certainly hope you're going to be a lot more serious on this case. Oh, no! <laughs> so, good. the good news about Ceridium <laughs> is that the world finally had a source of renewable energy. The maybe still good news about Ceridium, depending on your perspective, is that a whole lot of other things changed when it was discovered. So, two generations back, Humans were humans. They came in lots of varieties. They did not always get along, but they were all humans. Uh, and suddenly, not your parents, but your grandparents were born, uh, some of them a little different in a way that many folks had discarded to the realm of folklore. 
uh, different ways of looking and seeming that might present as, say, a high orc with an affinity for the world of magic, uh, that might present as a dwarf with an affinity for the world of the underground, uh, which would come in handy in some cases because those who did not try to make their way in the surface world have taken to those caves. There is an auric home. An underground nation, uh, currently headquartered in the caves under Marin Headlands near San Francisco, uh, and those some of you have chosen the path uh, of the underground kingdoms, underground in several ways. Well, well, I like this world. I like the way it's constructed. Uh, I guess that's an out of character note. Uh, the entrance <laughs> lore is really fun. I highly recommend you dip into it. But okay, so. Uh, Whitney, do you want to declare if you have a faction allegiance? Oh, yeah, I do. It's none of them. Unaligned. Yeah, I'm actually just here to get to my show, and uh, this is my, my friend, and, like, I'm really good at picking music that's appropriate for the situation, so I'm sure that'll come in handy. I've got, like, fighting music, combat music, kissing music, uh, victory music, spooky music, you know, obviously, like, party music, and, you know, we're probably going to cover the whole gamut of uh, DJ Self-Destruct's library, so. Perfect, so your only faction is party faction. Just me, baby, party faction, self-destruct. I strongly recommend aligning with the knight faction. I don't know if you... Uh, Do the knights like to party? <laughs> uh, well, we like uh, rule and order, and we like to keep... Are you blowing bubbles in your beverage? <laughs> Yo, Padron! <laughs> Give me some Patron, baby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Still All right. right. Can, uh, you're taking it under consideration? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for Certainly. sure. Uh, so, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, you are probably having this conversation at wherever you've chosen to meet, so start deciding where it is that your, your meetup was. Oh, yeah, uh, where are we right now, dog? I just got out of my hover limo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so San Francisco is still intact, yes? It is. It has been ravaged by some of these changes. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a few districts that are just not super safe anymore. There was something, continues to be something known as the Rage Plague, which is... Uh, what, not, Rage Plague? Yeah, a not good time for oh, everyone involved. Oh, uh, really? That um, sounds cool. <laughs> has been ravaging the Auric community. Uh, there was a, a medicine that was supposed to combat it, which had unintended side effects uh, among the regular human population, uh, and some real mixed bag side effects among the orc population. And there are just areas where you don't want to go these days. Mm. Uh, it, one of which you are about to be heading into when you go investigate your mission. But we are not yet all assembled. Who else is coming on tonight's mysterious journey? My name is Joyba, <laughs> and um, I got my name because people said I was cute like a Joyba, so that's my name. It's spelled J-O-Y-B-U-L-L. -L. <laughs> um, I'm a gnome, and I grew up in a really prim and proper environment. But I feel like it's my natural state to not be prim and proper. I'm a vanguard, so I like to get in there early and meh. <laughs> I, uh, my parents were really sadly affected by the rage plague. So I don't like to talk about it because it makes me really sad. I try to just forget about it. <laughs> and, um, so I'm in underground. I live in the Oric home. And um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I am half out of the box thinking and really, really um, extreme and sensitive emotions. I'm also ingenious sometimes, and um, I have a really restless mind, as you can tell. I'm done. Welcome to the team, Joe. Yo, Padron, get some Padron in this latest cup I over there. I love some Padron. Just hold your cup up, Padron. Go get Padron. it. Are you thinking about your dead parents? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. So this lady, dead parents. Hey, cheers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad they have Patron in the future. <laughs> oh, no. It'd be a sad, they do now. sad world. They own a whole city. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh. We're in Padronium. Padronium. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Petronium, the most popular bar in the rundown area of San Francisco. Here's a great thing about Entromancy. You are explicitly encouraged to help me co-create the world, which you are clearly already doing. Oh, yeah, Petronium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the time. I intend to enforce all the rules to make this city law-abiding. It's what less rules? of a real city and more of a club. Yeah. Uh, a club. The only rule here is party. <laughs> it does have its own uh, rules of governance, though. It's like a, a city-state. But okay. it's in one club. Okay. Uh, you don't know quite how to feel about Ooh. that because you're from the actual government-sponsored uh, National Intelligence Guard of Human Technology. Night. Night. Listen, like they say, when in Patron, do as the Patronans do. Mm. They do say that. You know? Uh, yeah, how would I do chew that? on that for a minute? By getting some Patron in your cup! Uh, as you have this conversation <laughs> near the bar... Uh, <laughs> Comforting your new associate who's having some mood swings. Uh, your yeah. final member approaches. Hey, I just want to say I'm a really big fan. What? It's really, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm Shigar. Shigar. Um, yeah, Shigar. Uh, I'm a low oryx, so most people are kind of afraid of me. But I'm, I'm easy tempered, and but I, the, the biggest thing about me, I'd say, is that I really like to go fast. I like things that are fast, fast music, fast cars, fast bullets. So that's kind of my jam. Bam, bam, fast bullets. Um, uh, I like to, I like to just party. You know, I, I like yeah. to party. I like to meet people. Uh, really, I, I like to drive people around. I'm a pretty good escort. I think I, I think I, I perform better when people are watching. Um, I, I, I have the opposite of performance anxiety. I, I like when people watch me succeed. Um, so I tend to succeed at all costs. Um, what, what else do you want to know about me? Well, you don't have to tell these others, but do you have a faction you're aligned with? Yeah, I do. I've got a, I've got one. All right. Can I call you Shug Money? <laughs> that would no, be you are, must be aligned with Knight, so you will be Shug Knight. Oh, no, yeah, Shug Knight. No, you should Knight. totally cool. align with the Oracle <laughs> because it makes homes for people without them. A lot of factions do that, just oh. in different ways. Well, I like to be driven around. Oh, I totally drive you around. Okay, great. Oh, you like to be driven around? Oh, I do. I could, oh. I could get, oh, I could get a hover limo like, <sighs> like that. Oh, that wow. There's a hover limo. Yeah, there it is. Hover yeah. hover hover limo. Limo. I, I think I should be reporting to you, actually, because I'm I'm on this assignment as community service. Oh. This is part of my, my, my program. Excellent. I uh, was given the information because everything is orderly. Perfect. Can you make sure that the thing says that I showed up? Were you in jail? No, I'm here instead, so that I didn't have to go into the VPN. I wouldn't worry about it because I always give a thoroughly detailed report Ooh. to my superiors and anyone else whose email I have. Perfect, oh. that, that, that makes me feel a lot better. What did you get caught with? Was it space drugs? Was it space uh, Adderall? Uh, Was no, it I, space Molly? I, Was I, it space acid? No. No, it wasn't that cool. I, I just, I happened to steal a car that happened to be a little important. Oh, that's I, very cool. I didn't, that I didn't cool. realize that it, it was full of some stuff from the government. Crimes are cool. They, Crime doesn't pay. Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> interesting that you should mention trying to get out of the, the V-Pen there. Yeah. The V-Pen is a virtual alternative to traditional uh, prison structures. Uh, for with, as most things, both good and bad kind of effects. The V-Pen was intended to give a shoplifter the repeated virtual experience of being apprehended while in the act of stealing, with the stomach-churning feeling of being thrown behind bars again and again. Cool. Yeah, it was supremely effective, allowing judges to give lighter sentences and penitentiaries to house more people for a shorter amount of time. Over time, however, applications began to be developed that would go beyond the original scope of implementation, particularly under the auspices of internal defense. The Knights would describe it as interrogative questioning. The revolutionaries... I think it's torture. ...called it torture. The public uh, is apparently, uh, no lie, uh, burned out and not paying attention and obsessed with baseball. baseball. Because this world has some fun, weird quirks in it. Uh, <laughs> baseball is, is deadly, though. 
Sometimes. My yeah. parents loved baseball. Oh, yeah. It's just an official oh. support of Petronium. That's what I heard. Yeah. I don't like sports too much, though. How about you? Very intensely rooting for uh, the uh, yeah the the East Bay uh, Cer- Cerudiites. Oh yeah, the East Bay Cerudiites oh, mm-hmm. uh, have a terrible mm-hmm. record, but you're pretty sure this is the year they turn it. This around. is the year. Oh, you're a Cerud head. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I don't know if they're gonna break the two generation curse. They Just- are. <laughs> they will. This is the year. I think it, it could happen. Thank you. Tribal. Anything can happen. I like your positivity. Thanks. Mm. Dude, if they win, do you, could, could you introduce me to like a cheerleader? Yeah. Baseball well, is cheerleaders now. I'm just a now. fan. I'm just a <laughs> season ticket holder, but um, it, I, well, it, I could bring you, could you, do it. I could you bring seem, to a game. You seem powerful. Mm. Oh, well, it's, it's my, yeah, it's the way, my poise. Yeah. Are you going to break out your kissing music now? Oh, hell yeah. Nah, it's too early. <clears throat> Maybe later. I don't really right. even know her yet. I don't uh, where's another? Slow. The, sur- the bar- surly bartender catches that signal, uh, turns around, and finally sees that four out of the four people they were expecting are here. And they pass you a document. Thank you. Here is what is in the mission briefing that has just landed. The Presidio has been a military installation for hundreds of years under a handful of different regimes. During the latter half of the 20th century, the United States government converted it to a park and museum. By the year 2050, Knight had commandeered most of the buildings and turned one of them into a research facility. Yet in recent years, it has largely been overrun by ragers bloodthirsty oryx affected by a plague of unknown origin mm-hmm. and worse. What Knight was researching is classified, but three years ago, they lost control of the lab. The Knight Inquisitor in charge was Brigadier Whitward, a hardliner whom we believe has initiated a splinter organization known as the Northern Californian Human Rights Group. Oh, NorCal, hell yeah. The Mm -hmm. NCHRG places extra emphasis on the human part of that moniker, i.e. no oryx need apply. Oh. Okay, Mm. fine. Your mission and what has brought you all together via community service, volunteering, or reasons of your own uh, professionalism, uh, dedication to your craft, commitment to order, yeah. court order, babes. Excellent. Adventure, chance of babes, a sense of purpose, perhaps, a chance to do some good. <laughs> Mysteries. <laughs> I'm super into it. Uh, so your basic objective is to get to the Presidio and find out what's in there. Whitward's chief research lieutenant is Dr. Carlton Ansler. Ansler did some time in night, but turned civilian when his research was considered too extreme for government sanctioning. We have it in good authority that these two goons are definitely up to no good. We need you to recon the building, find out what they're working on, steal their research, and get a good lay of the land. While we can't stomach the thought of not controlling this facility ourselves, we need to find out what these two wackos are working on before it's too late. You have an address. You know that this building is currently being occupied. Knight has lost control of it, but somebody's doing something in there. And how and when you want to take that on is up to you. I think, I think we should. When is right now, right? I'd like to reinforce. I'd like to make sure that uh, maybe we have um, proper uh, gear. Oh, yeah, I got the gear. Um, I mean, if you, you've got that limo. I wouldn't mind uh, getting my hands on that wheel. Oh, you don't even need it. It's totally self driving, but I mean, no, yeah, you can pretend. No, can, can, can. Does it not have a manual switch? I would really prefer that. I don't know. 
to be honest, I've never even been up there. I just like to sit in the back in the hot tub. So uh, yeah, you guys join me in the hot tub. You can absolutely chauffeur if you'd Great. like. I don't really I like wanna, hot water. I do. I'm gonna go in a limo. But I have a question for the GM. Yeah. Um, do we start the mission? Because I have to do something at the start of the mission. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I have a thing called Scoundrel's Luck. So that means I roll three D20s and record each result. And throughout the mission, I can replace any check uh, made by me or a creature with one of these rolls. So uh, if it's a good roll, you can use it for you. And if it's a bad roll, you can also use it for you and not make me do it. Yes. Great, we're on the same page. I, I feel so. like definitely. Yeah, <laughs> that was a riddle that I just agreed to. Because Amy Dallin is smart. Not a binding promise. <laughs> okay. But let's find out what your scoundrel's luck has in store for us. Scoundrel's luck. Five. A five. <laughs> to be you, you can give to Amy. At a time. Really like I mean, it. you could. It's one yeah. option. Um, oh, good. Yeah, that one. I really mm. like the way you throw dice. Thank you. Like a dart. <laughs> <laughs> In the, I am a vanguard. Nah. A 13? A 13. All right. All right. Yes. Going up in the world. When you Doing do, you will declare it uh, <laughs> essentially before the roll. Uh, yeah. And but don't worry, I will tell you what the, what you're trying to hit. So. Prime numbers only. Nineteen. You got close. Hey. That, that really worked. Yay. That was good dice magic. It's a Fibonacci. It's five and thirteen and eighteen. Okay, I'm done. That's all. Thank you. All. all right. So those are your three scoundrels luck things. Does anyone else have something that they do at the beginning of missions? Absolutely not. Oh, no. yeah, I do. Patron drone. Oh, I enjoy him. Thank you. As soon as we leave, round, please. I don't Patronium, like to drink I, and I drive. can't anymore because the law forbids it. But. You're so responsible. I, that's why I like you. Uh, Your car sugar. doesn't drive Shit itself? Money. Shit. What's that? Your car doesn't drive itself? What is the fun in that? Uh, you can drink. <laughs> No, you guys are going in a hot tub. I, I already know what it feels like to be in hot water, and I don't really want to do it again. Whoa, was that wordplay? I like you, Shirt uh, Money. Yeah. I definitely will not be in a hot tub. That is uh, not something I would do on duty uh, or or ever because uh, I've never worn a, a bathing suit. <gasps> Why? You, oh are you self-conscious or something? No, I'm... Uh, you know, you can I'm, just go in naked, right? Yeah, you can just go, you know, you um, just go naked, right? There's, like, no laws anymore about that. Yeah. I mean... Y what they're armed? Uh uh. Not in this Future club. San Francisco. You are a night agent, so you probably obey certain rules. But I'm gonna say that there's a wide variety of choices out there. Uh, night agents have a uh, code of conduct within the department. Uh, I know it's not strictly illegal anymore, uh, public nudity, but uh, within within night rules, I I will remain clothed. Thank you. Mm. But what's your code of heart conduct? That's a really good question. What's I'll, I'll let you know conduct? in my off hours, when I'm on duty, I'm on Ooh. duty. I'll keep a vigilant eye out of the uh, sunroof. Code of Heart Conduct is going to make a sick hook for a song. Thank ah. you. You will not get royalties. I am going to play us some transportation music. How Trans. about it? Hot mm. Trans. So DJ Self-Destruct is a technomancer, which means she has a little digital friend, and she gets to decide what kind of abilities it has at the start of each mission. Oh, yeah. Patron? Padron? Well, right now, Padron just acts as a, as a synth, and my friend, and my Padron, Padron server. Uh, but I'm also working on some real cool spy shit, so... Uh, you know, if we know, if we need to like spy on anything, but I mean, I'm just here to party. It's really just to look at like what's going on. I'm kind of a voyeur. <laughs> Anyways, here's some traveling music. Excellent. So, do you all pile into this limousine? Yes. Oh hell yeah, dog! <clears throat> I just want to show up my skills, so I run and I leap and I spin and I land through the. That sunroof. is gonna take a roll. Oh, okay. Uh, great. <laughs> Code of heart conduct. What is your athletic? This is my jam. What's it, baby? What's the, the okay. <laughs> That's, That's a, a pretty pretty lit. Some say. 
It is what is known as a critical failure. Oh, oh, no. That's lit. So that's you that. look around at your new teammates who you are dying to impress because you clearly are going to need to be the backbone of this party. Oh. You clearly, you have the info. This mission, leading this mission is your big break. You're going to finally be respected by your colleagues. And you are imagining the speech that you're going to make to who is your colleague that trusts you least? Sergeant Rufton. Sergeant Rufton is, I'm going to say it, a real jerk. Yeah. Sergeant Rufton took one look at you the day you signed up and decided he knew exactly what you were capable of. And it was not much. But that's not, that's not me, though. That's not true. He doesn't know anything about me, really. You are rehearsing honestly. in your head the speech you are going to give Sergeant Rufton when you come back with the exact information required the on this mission. Uh, as you eye the limousine, all you need to do is bank off of that fire hydrant and kind of run up the wall a little, and you can flippy flip right into that. <gasps> that was not a wall. It was. That was a window. Mm -hmm. oh. From the window to the window. Oh, yeah. wait, is our hot tub sloshing? Uh, well, nobody's in it quite yet because okay. uh, you are probably a little bit distracted by your friend who's gone vaulting off a fire hydrant uh, <gasps> and bounced off of a plate glass window and rolled several times down the street. Hey, are I'm you about okay? Three and a half feet tall. Are you all right? Meant to yeah. do that. Is this because we asked you to get in the hot tub? No, absolutely not. That cool. was, uh, I was showing you my brute force you and ability to take a hit. Do you look like so, you got here. No, oh, I, you I, uh, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, do we I have, need is it? anyone a healer? Prop powers? Uh, I am not. Not Go necessary. Ahead. Not necessary here could, in this situation, but good information to know. It could get you a band aid. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Uh, yes. The only thing wounded at the moment is your dreams of a showing Sergeant Rufton. And uh, maybe oh. pride. Since I haven't decided what kind of uh, drone, what kind of padrone I have, can I make it into a medical one? I have to pick one of these, right? You are supposed to pick one of these. Okay, I'm gonna make it. We don't have any medical stuff on our hands, right? I've got some daggers. Not really. Okay, I'm gonna make <laughs> it a medical one. Yeah, Guess what? You know what? It's just like in the in the in the old days when I used to get my EMT friends to just hook me up with an IV every time I was hungover. I can make Padron in just like a couple hours. I can make Padron have like healing mist, oh. you know. Good drug, mist. Or, <laughs> like the sprinkle on healing you. mist. Yeah, it's like rose water, but it you know it's just like hydrating and nice. I could do like uh, you know emergency stash of medicine. You know, I assume that there will be upgrades later, but with a couple death presses of a button, DJ self destruct who claims that she only showed up to party. Uh, has clearly reprogrammed her drone, looking around, uh, tactically aware of your needs as a team. Oh, yeah. And uh, has, has activated the medical mode on her drone. Oh, yeah. You might be a little more prepared for this than you thought. Dude, there's nothing partier than taking care of your body. -er. <laughs> DJ, I am wow. so impressed. Thanks. I, I didn't believe when you acted like a, a flippant partier before. I literally I mean, live to impress you and party. That's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know those lyrics? I told you I'm a big fan. Wow! Oh, Shug Money, you're I, cool. I gotta tell you, it's actually quite exhilarating being this close to someone as famous as you. Dude, you're my driver now, so, like, you don't ever have to stop doing it. I mean, I can't tell the difference if that makes yeah. any difference it between does. you driving and being driven by a robot, so I feel like <laughs> that's probably high praise. Right? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. So it's very high praise, thank you. So who's in the hot tub? Me! Yeah. All right. We have no. two hot tub takers. I'm sitting a beside it I getting splashed every time we take a turn. And Nelda is sitting awkwardly uh, trying to look very composed in the side facing seats of the limousine by the hot tub. That's correct. All right, I where you going? I splashed some bubbles on your face. Oh. We have a mission. Yeah, the mission is to get hot and wet and party, and then what else are we doing? 
Presidio! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta steal that stuff. You know, <laughs> stealing yeah, is pretty cool when it's for good. Right? Recon, and we gotta find out what they're working on, and we gotta steal some research. Yeah, we gotta steal some, we gotta do some crimes. Well, I, I think lady. technically it was formerly owned by Knight and uh, has been commandeered, so really it's not stealing, it's simply taking back what Ooh. was already stolen. I'm gonna write a song called Crisis of Spirit, and you're gonna be the inspiration. I'm not, I'm fully uh, confident in exactly my purpose. Oh, yeah. I never waver. It's in gonna that. be good when you have to steal some stuff and your like internal logic gets all messed up. Not oh, a thing. it's gonna be lit. Not a thing. I My only objective is to fulfill the mission objectives. Mm. So if that involves, sure, uh, then I guess we will call it stealing because I'm not afraid to do a mission. You could be Nelsa yeah. Muse Murphy. Oh, that does sound nice. Yeah, yeah, that's really. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Do you yeah. like my headphones? They're super fly. They Thank look you. like like ski muffs too. Uh, it's like actually a, a Darth Vader belt. Oh my gosh! What? I love Star Wars. <laughs> Classic uh, last century film series. Oh uh, yeah, Star Wars. I'm really yeah, into vintage that... film. In fact, I bought these at uh, at the gift shop, but they're tight headphones, so I use them for DJing all the time. Wow. Honestly, oh. this is future stuff when that all sounds perfectly player? legit. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm really big into analog tech. I love using uh, first gen uh, iPhones. Uh, I, I, what was it? What? The first one? Pod. What's iPods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are the ones that I use. I'm a pretty vintage DJ. <laughs> a lot of people don't have appreciation for the classic materials the I'm way that artists. you do. Yeah. You good. have, uh, you Circle the swipe. Prize mm. possession is your uh, iPod shuffle. All it oh, does yeah. is play things out of order. I love the surprise to it. You know, they say art is a surprise when it comes out of your body, so I don't even know what music I'm making until I'm done making it, you know? And I love to get on the little, on the iPods, I love to spin them like little, like little vinyls. Wow. Or little turntables. You use your hands. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, thank you. I don't need to explain it to you. You know. Oh, no, you were speaking, and it was just flowing through me. I understood immediately. I just kick it from my head. That's what we call a freestyle thought. Hey, hey, hmm. GM. Freestyle thought. Just want to check that this limousine does have a manual function, because if it doesn't, it's going to be kind of a bummer. Uh, I need somebody to hack the limousine to make sure it's got a manual function. I mean, function. I, I have a vehicle kit. This is kind of my Hacking thing. Hacking yeah. us, too. Yeah, okay. vehicle kits are in your Oh, Yeah. Um, you have a vehicle skill as well, right? Yeah. I'm um, gonna hack give me a vehicle roll. But this is literally what you do, so I need a five. All right. Five? Yeah. You, can I assist? What does the vehicle kit exactly give me? The vehicle kit, um, did it come with your class, it, right? It, yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Your vehicle kit contains a digitab and all of the accessories your character needs to excel at negotiation, thievery, and vehicles checks. Great. So essentially, it's just a, a bunch of, uh, it's got some fake paperwork in it, which helps with the negotiation tasks. Yes, it does. Um, a few different valid licenses, uh, and a basic repair kit for uh, an, an array of modern vehicles. Perfect. All right, so I'm sitting in the front seat with a wheelless car, and this is, this is the first time I've gotten to be in the driver's seat since my arrest. So this is a pretty intense moment for me. This is my first time behind the wheel again. You Please let there be a wheel. Which of these licenses will operate it? What's your bonus? Plus six. Oh, good. Because I said you needed a five and yep. you rolled a three. I did. That was a, uh, I'm a little shaky. No, you're good. You passed that check. You got a nine. You only needed a five. Right. You were built to do this. You're a little rusty, you know? Yeah. But this is your first ride with this car. You're getting yeah. to know each other. I've never driven a limo before. Yeah. Especially not one with a hot tub. I bet that's going to affect the gravitation. Oh, yeah. yeah these ones have, yeah, have hydraulics, too. Mm -hmm. We're a little rowdy. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I enjoy the company, like I said. Yeah. That's, Woo! That's, that's, I put money. down the partition so that yeah. I can hear you guys a little better. This is the best mission ever. All Great right. driving. Please obey Shaka. all traffic laws, driving. if you don't mind. Yeah, oh. you're still in the parking lot at Petronium. It feels like you're driving. Thanks. It's going to be a smooth ride. 
I trust that it will. Where are you going? I'm going to the address that I'm doing it now. Uh, can I? You do have a license that is uh, intact, and I hold up a, a just like a fan of cards of different licenses. I think one of those will work. I didn't see this. You oh, spotted dude, a valid dude, one in there. Dude, you have a license to party from uh, ah. 2077 tour. Oh my god, dude, that's like a collector's item, my dude. It's it's my lucky one. Oh. oh, back when I used to do a show, I used to give out license to parties, and if you get in, you could get in for free if you had one of them. So yeah. that's she's a real one. Yeah, uh, right. So it's not a stolen illegal. Uh, or a replica. No, no, no. that, that no. license means absolutely nothing, except that you can get into my parties. Nelda, maybe you could get exactly. a license to potty. That was one of the best nights of my life. I stayed after to All try right. and meet you. This is when I was a much younger, younger party kid, but uh, I stayed after, but your bodyguard said that I looked too aggressive and that I needed to go home. Oh my God, you were wearing the big light up muscles. I was. Yeah, oh I my God, I, did I, I remember you? I was trying to overcompensate when I was younger. Yeah, but you know what, it looked sick. I was like, how do you even get LED lights into your muscles and like- oh, I had a Cousin, they made he fabricated it for me. Wow, That's true creativity. Sick. You need to do my costume sometime, or like, oh, well, uh, that or like, wasn't my skill. I'll, I'll put you in touch with my cousin, though. He's gonna lose his shit. All right, this. yeah, Shug, you can do whatever you want on my tour. You're a real one. That's oh my cool. Gosh, this is pretty great. <laughs> Muscle fabrication, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was cool. It's We're cool almost there, phone. by the way. So, if you got stuff you need to do. Oh I told you. Oh, does you anybody have to use notice. the restroom? All right, I have practice my moves. Some bad news, which is you—you you probably want to decide whether you are driving a limo into the unsafe streets around the Presidio, which are full of roving gangs of ragers and worse. Oh yeah, we could drive it. I mean, it's okay. not my limo. Okay. It's just a limo. Whose limo is it? Uh, I don't know. Actually, you just called it. Yeah, I just called it. They come to me. That's the thing that I can do. They don't always it is actually be, one of your talents. They don't, all, they don't always have to be limos, but I prefer them to be. Okay. Uh, I would like to, uh, as mm. as promised, stand on a seat or drag over a cooler or something to stick my head out of the roof and then hold my night blade menacingly out of the rooftop just to make sure no one messes with this limo. Beautiful. I need you to make what is called in here, this system, and I love this. This is one of my favorite new skill names. Please make a drama roll. Mmm. Very great. Drama. What's uh, your drama bonus? Well, it's zero, but may I mention my night training in, sure. my, in the night organization? I have basically a political cachet, but I pick up on cues that most would miss. I have advantage on awareness checks to spot hidden enemies. Okay, okay. So if you wanted to give me awareness, it's not the same thing. Yes, let's do it. Cool. Can I ask, can people assist on anything? Like if we're good at hacking or drama? Uh, can we do that? Not really. that a thing? If we find a way that it mechanically makes sense, that definitely will work for us. Okay. And a six. Oh, I forgot to take my die back, I'm sorry. And a 14. <gasps> and a 14. I take my eyes off the road. That's Thank you. safe and smart. So, uh, you, what was your awareness bonus? Do you have an awareness bonus? Uh, you have the advantage, for sure. You're at 14. The, I have a plus two awareness. Great, you're at a 16. Uh, so, with your guard, with Nelda standing guard vigilantly on the top of yeah. the limo and uh, sending both menacing signals out into the neighborhood, and spotting so that you can navigate around the various dangers of this district. Not that street. I'm familiar with these, these that blocks. Yeah, you somehow get the limo all the way to the facility. Yeah, now, I do. Uh, what time of day have you chosen to approach? Because again, this is a functioning facility. You come in at daytime, you come in after hours. Well, I, we, I we like were, coming in at night. I work yeah, best in the shadows. We were at a nightclub, so yeah. I assume yeah. it's nighttime. Just making yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, so you pull up near. That was last call, so it's around 1.45 a.m. Oh, yeah, it's pretty mm. late. 1.45 a.m., you are reasonably sure that this facility should be at a pretty low staff at 1.45 a.m. Whoever is in here, uh, probably Carlton Ansler, uh, doing whatever it is they're doing. Hmm. Uh, mm. Are they still functioning? I thought it was overrun by ragers. Night isn't running this place anymore. Oh. Uh... So what happened is, da, 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 
When they lost control of the lab, the Inquisitor in charge was Brigadier Whitward. He's still doing something. It's just not for night. He's got that splinter group going on. Got it. So the uh, ragers... You need to recon the building, find out what they're working on. The ragers are in between you in this building, essentially. They're the reason this neighborhood is so bad. Yeah. Um, That's why I wanted to keep the car. It's um, a nice shield. What's... The rest of the facility, other than this one building, uh, has been destroyed mostly by ragers and other dangers. But you know that this building is still operating. It's just operating... And you don't know what they're working on. And you hate not knowing what they're working on. Not Dude, knowing. Ranger Danger. I was going to do that. That's a great song. Let's uh-huh. write that uh-huh. down. Ranger Danger. Ranger, Ranger Danger. Ranger, um, Ranger Danger. Ranger, Ranger Danger. Danger. Yeah. Yeah. We need you to recon the building, find out what they're working on, steal their research, and get a good lay of the land. While we can't stomach the thought of not controlling this facility ourselves, we need to find out what these two wackos are working on. Right, or it's too late. Right. I would like to go first because that's what I'm good at. Okay. I'm gonna get it in there. So I'd like to stealth around until I see someone. Oh hell yeah! Do or, you need some stealth music? I would love some stealth. Hell music. yeah! That's a pretty good idea. All right, uh, you. I need you to make a choose whether you are going to make a uh, a stealth roll or an or an awareness roll to sneak up towards this building. A- Stealth roll. Excellent. Wait a minute. If I'm if I'm making giving you stealth music, will that blow our cover? Um, no. I'll only hear it in my earpiece. Okay. Cool. Play this on your headphones. Okay. Stealth. Stealth so music. Stealth creeping. It creates a nice stealth. rhythm. Joyful. Uh, inspired. I'm holding my dagger. Mm-hmm. Creep with a, an odd. It's strange how the uh, more rhythmically precise than normal movements, which you would imagine would attract attention, are actually just keeping you perfectly contained in the shadows as you sneak your way out of the limo and through the empty. Uh, Vehicle drop-off area outside of a low building. It looks like it's a low building of about two stories, uh, mm. and it looks like it's totally dark. And I need you to make me a stealth roll, please. I will make a stealth roll. Now I need your target on this one is gonna be a fifteen. A fifteen. Mm-hmm. So um, all those ones are a roll. How do we know? You're going to roll a d20, and then you're going to add your Uh, stealth bonus. Okay, great. And, um, awesome. Oh, (laughs) shit. I got a one. Wow. Maybe I'm not as stealthy as I thought. But I add Maybe you were bumping too hard. Oh, yeah. It was my beats. It was... Probably my beats. I knew <laughs> that song had lyrics in Here's it. Here's the thing. Probably it wasn't, threw off your stealth. I wasn't paying attention, but it was. you were A seven? I got a seven? Mm. It rolled a, a one. Crypt, but yeah. I have plus six. I know, yeah. and, and it I'm sorry. doesn't help. <laughs> uh, this time it does not. No wow, well, I don't know if I've ever rolled a one before. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a hard day. Oh, oh, oh. I remember my first. Oh, it's not worse than your parents turning into rice playgrounds. Oh, it seems sorry. almost worse than. Oh, yeah, it's probably not as bad as your parents dying. Oh, huh? oh I can't take my dice and go home. What happened? The cries of your colleague uh, are drowned out by the blare of the stealth music, which has accidentally hopped frequencies and is now playing from the speaker uh, all over oh, the, oh, the drop-off you area. You guys, that's my song. Oh, oh, no, this you're failing no, this yeah. mission. Yeah. You're all failing this all mission. Right, oh, okay. Is everybody bumping it, though? Oh, no. 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 No one's no. bumping. We're failing no. the mission. Uh, it's, this matters. Well, hang on. Let's I take wanna... a look at the criminals. Let's see if they're uh, if they're enjoying my tunes, you know? No, they're People not. on patrol, well, maybe they like it. <laughs> Oh. So a light turns on <gasps> okay. in the building. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so I want to we... immediately plug my tablet into the dashboard. Okay. Um, and I want to activate a hologram around the car to make it look more like a pharmacy vehicle being loaded in for pickup of the, whatever product they're doing. This is technically the vehicle I, I that I got arrested because I stole one, so I know what it looks like. Okay. So I want to make our car look less like a limo. 
Yeah, maybe Fantastic. if the Petronium medical bot's floating outside, they'll think it's a... It's true, yeah. Oh, yeah, see. plus criminals love my music, so, like, you know, whatever product they're moving, they're probably bumping DJ self-destruct, you know. Also, those drivers are kind of all over the place. This might not look that suspicious. Yeah, I think we're good. We have a plan! Yeah. Uh, but the plan is going to involve a couple... Of roles. Okay. Now I will let you all collaborate uh, to see who is going to handle this, but somebody is going to need to do the actual tech work of uh, creating it, this hologram on the car. A, is it a vehicle check or? Uh, it can be. Or is that? What? That's what I'm good at. Yeah. This is this is mm. this is the vehicle part. I want to handle the vehicle part. Uh, mm. We might need a hack check and a vehicles check on this. Okay. Is and then I I can hack. I'm plus cool on hack. All right. Ooh, I'm, I'm plus you. six on hack. <laughs> It would be an honor, DJ, if you want to help me hack this. Oh well, yeah, can we? We're also gonna need some folks. If you're going through with this, if you're pretending to delivery to be a vehicle, you're gonna need to assign whoever they're gonna talk to if they come out. To make I this am pickup. excellent at uh, checks to determine uh, whether a creature is lying or to gain political sway. Uh, advantage on all negotiation checks. Yeah, but you seem like kind of a narc. Yeah. Like, well, I anarchy. am indeed uh, definitely 100% a narc. Well, I feel like, like you're gonna, like if you're gonna talk to people and pretend that you're like a drug pusher, you shouldn't uh, be. You shouldn't be a narc, you know. A narc is a narcotic. I'm, I'm gonna just start working on the can, illusion uh, at least. Okay. Anybody turning the music off? Uh, no, I actually would like to switch to my hacking music. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'll, I'm gonna sit in the. I'm gonna stay in the driver's seat. You can come up here and talk if you want, but I think I'll help with your. Blending in. Excellent. I forget. I scramble. Sc- <laughs> sc- <laughs> I can, and yeah, jump. Just, yeah, just come through the back of the window. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, jumping through windows is easy for me. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the drop. Huh. Drop at the windows. All right, you're making I use the bump of the You are helping over. with the illusion, right? I would love to help with the illusion. Okay. I need a hack roll. Uh, I need a uh, ten or better. Do I do the hack? Okay. Oh, oh, it can't be. I mean, is, oh, is, am I am I helping with the thing yeah. or is that okay? We're doing a hack roll. So going to determine whether thing you three. are helpful. Okay. Oh my gosh! Please be more than a two. Oh. Say what you want, not what you don't want. You're kidding. Super You're kidding. Cool. That's not a one. That's no, a seven. That's a fail. Freaking one! Oh, he was a good plan, oh, guys. Man. Dude, the beats just, are just too the strong. The odds of getting a fat ball is like so free and small. Hey, DJ. It's like one in four hundred. Two heavy one patrollers uh, come around the oh corner my God. before you can possibly <gasps> get this illusion up. Here. I'm so sorry. I think that's a curse. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's, a it's a little cursed. I'm not gonna oh. lie. This is our no. third natural one of this not yet begun mission. <gasps> right, maybe oh, we should turn the music off. Oh on. yeah, hell yeah! Wait a minute. I just start I rolling all the I'm windows. I forgot. I'm famous, now. dude. I always forget I'm famous. <laughs> well, uh, maybe I should talk to them because maybe they like my music. Who's there? Oh hey, it's me, DJ Self Destruct. What's up, dude? Hey, you got a gun? That's cool. That's you hear the cool. sound of weapons uh, sliding into place. Oh, Padrone, we're- come here. Do you guys like Padrone? Uh, we're here for the delivery. We're picking up the delivery. In a limousine. Answer those questions in the order that you want to, my guy. We're in uh, incognito so that we can travel through the streets undetected. Yeah, incognito with me, DJ Self Destruct. <laughs> What's up? We're using uh, the guise of celebrity. Are you. What? These, the, the patrollers look very, very uncertain. They are two humans in security guard uh, gear with very serious looking weapons drawn on you <clears throat> right now. Can I roll to see if they have uh, heard of me? <laughs> you can. Okay. Um, that's gonna no. be, uh, that's sort of your knowledge of the world. It's going to be, uh, how famous are you roll? I know, I'm trying to decide. Uh, do you want to make this a negotiation or a drama roll? Um, drama. <laughs> same, I got same plus two either one. So. Okay, okay. What, do, what am I rolling? Uh, just roll a d20. Oh, yeah, you guys must know me. I play uh, around this neighborhood all the time. 13. Okay, plus you got a 15. Two. 
Uh, they think they might have heard of you. It's not 100% solving their confusion right now. I'm her groupie! Yeah, All we right. just, you know, we, we uh, ran into a little car trouble. We're here to... Drop off the shipment. We're just getting picked We're up. We're here to pick up, up a whatever, shipment. The shipment. Yeah. I need you to make a negotiation <laughs> roll. You do have advantage. Sure. All right. Advantage means you roll twice and you take the higher value. Twelve. Okay, and your bonus is? Nope. Great. Twelve. They look at you. They look at you. You're lost! Get out of here! We like your music, but there's no delivery schedule for tonight. We, uh, go play your prank somewhere else. Oh, no, it's not a prank. You got two minutes to get out of this parking lot. I, Whoa, are you threatening away. a celebrity? That's not cool, man. You're damn right we are. Okay, uh, well, I guess uh, our order form must be uh, for the wrong warehouse address, so um, we'll just be on our way then. Oh, yes. I, can, I, can I use the restroom inside? We're just really lost, and it's been a minute since we peed. Yeah, this groupie needs to pee. We uh, had a lot of Padron, and there's a hot tub if you want to join. Make Dude, a difficulty 18 negotiation check? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> to pee when they've already... <laughs> um, I'm um, Okay, negotiation. Oh, no, that's not my strong suit. <laughs> mm. No, nope. you got yeah. a seven. I got a seven. They just give you a withering look. Is that a no? Floor it. Is that a no? Are you sure? Floor it. We right. have a problem. I floor my no. car into them. <laughs> <laughs> she said floor it. She's my superior officer. I oh my did. gosh. No, but Wait, how many are there? Two. There's two? Did yep. you hit both of them? Uh, that's a great question. Let me quickly look up whether there are rules in this for hitting people with a car. Because uh, if not, I'm just going to make them up because I'm delighted. I'd say that's uh, a vehicle. <laughs> it, it is. It sounds like a vehicle check. It does sound like a vehicle's check. You are going to make a vehicle's check. Uh, right. And I know their armor class, and we're just going to play this by ear. Please give me a roll. Great. I should mention that if there are people in my car... I like to perform a little better. Okay. So on top of my plus six, I get a plus five. So uh, let's do this. You get a plus 11 for vehicular manslaughter. Let's go. Oh, my God. Or at least man take her out. It's more of I'm trying to just pin him to the wall. Great. Yeah. They foolishly stood next to each other. Oh, my goodness. All right, so that's a 26. Yeah, that's going to do wow. it. Oh, my goodness. I just floor it, and right before I squish them, I slam the brakes so it just sort of pins them enough to where they don't have breath, but they aren't dead, you know? Oh, um, can I finish them off and... Oh, wait, we don't want that. Never mind. I think about it, and I don't. I don't need to murder anybody. I just want to do this mission and get my ticks for my probation. So uh, I think we're good now. Thanks. I okay. floored it. Uh, All right, everyone. They can't reach the out radios. the window. Out the window. Out the window. Let's can't. go inside. No, wait. I should we like ask to, them? Uh, just um, ask them go up what? and uh, make them pass out by doing a special chokehold that just like wait. makes them have a real nice nap. <laughs> wait, we're supposed to do. Wait, we're supposed to do some recon. I don't think these guards are gonna know no. anything we need to know. Recon. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, they're just guards. We kind of the building. I don't right. tell my bodyguards anything except for my deep, deepest emotional secrets. Before we get uh, out of what? the car, uh, no. well, you're not my guard. I can't tell you. I am Hang on. technically a guard that is companioning. Are there, you. are there any? I guess cameras? if you swear to protect me, I'll tell Look you around. some juicy secrets. All right, we're part of a team. I mean, you're gonna protect me too, right? Uh, yeah, protect you with my beats. Got it. Okay. So are you my guard? Certainly, I'm going to protect uh, this entire team to the best of my ability. Is okay, here's okay? here's a secret. No. I never take oh. off my headband because I have a horrible yeah. scar. Yeah, okay. That's you a don't weird see thing. I don't see Wait, anything. should I take it off? Is that can cool? I Can I look yeah. around, too? Oh, I'm too scared. <laughs> you may, yeah. Okay. So awareness check. Awareness check. I don't see any cameras. It's weird. Um, I... I, um, what's, what do we need to get? Uh, just roll and then I'll tell you what you see okay. in this case. Another five. Three. Three. Oh my 
Gosh. Man, you just do not see any Oh cameras. my god, it's a... You no, stop wanna... throwing the dirt. Oh, and also, don't forget you got these. Okay. Remember, you have good luck. And you can, you can declare anything I know. you need. I was saving them for like something useful later on, but maybe I can't even be used. You can absolutely be useful. You just got to remember that you're already equipped for the job that you have right now. Don't forget mm. it. Okay. You're doing a great job. Yeah. You Are we in a new good. scene? Can I level up Padron? Describe the level up conditions. I would please. like the. I would like to impl implement implement uh, the voice uh, a voice technology that compliments you, and makes you feel good. Make a hacking check. Okay. D twenty. Yep. Hell yeah! Add I got a plus bonus. six. Twenty. <gasps> <laughs> okay, oh tell me exactly <laughs> what it does. Okay, so Padrone goes on over to uh, to Joy Bull and uh, says, Joy Bull, you have a purpose. You are a valued member of your team, and you must have faith in yourself because you are the only one who can do what you do. Joyable, you are valued. Joyable, you are loved. I am loved. Joyable, make your parents proud. I am going to make my parents so proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to get advantage on whatever thing you do next. <laughs> I was a natural 20 compliment <laughs> check. Padrone, yeah, you rule. Yes, Come here, buddy. Yeah, 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 thank you. The are gonna do great. This is beautiful, but I, I think we should stay on mission. We've uh, incapacitated two guards already. We need to reconnaissance thank you. windows. I suggest we spread out on the front of the building while you take the lead, checking the door. Drop. Okay, I'll check the door. <laughs> and what do I need to do? Uh, yeah, take a look at that door. Uh, you attempt to open, open it, it, nothing happens. <laughs> I um and can I hack into it? You sure? Or stealth can. into it? I mean, stealth uh, into it. it. It's probably gonna take a hack check. You can be very sneaky, but that's not gonna get you through this door. Okay, a hack check of how much? Uh, the hack check on this one has a difficulty that is set in here and that I forgot to write down. There we go. Uh, uh, all right. I get to roll against you for this. Can, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you can, in this case. I'm, I just need to be bigger than you? You need to roll higher than I do on, on this secured digi lock. May I assign you my scoundrel's luck roll? Oh, you may. So you get a five. Damn it, you remembered. <laughs> I'm feeling so empowered from this wonderful victory speech that I heard in my ear. <laughs> now I will say uh -huh. that uh, because this is a, a very this this the uh, level of this lock is military grade. Its oh. own hacking modifier is plus ten. So it has a 15, oh my gosh. but it was going to be very, very hard had you not scoundrels luck to this thing. Oh my gosh. You're trying to beat a 15, but here's the thing. Okay. You've still got those compliments ringing in your ears. I have got it. You That's get to roll twice and pick the <laughs> higher total. Twice, twice, twice. And you're trying to beat a 15. Oh yeah. Can I leave this 20 here for good luck? You may. <laughs> it's like a brother, go find your brother, 20. Yeah. <laughs> Um, What's your bonus? I have a plus four, so that's not the this one. Is 13. This is not the role we're looking for. Nope, that gets me a... Oh, it's a nine. Oh, that was way closer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on, positive compliments. I am valued. I am valued. Make my parents proud. Oh, yes! Bolstered. By Power of self-esteem, baby. <laughs> Power of self -esteem. <laughs> the Petronium. Excellent work. Uh, the um, I've got a 19. You have a 19 oh, against a 15. Your confidence just breezed by me. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty neat. 
<laughs> and uh, with a, a so funny, this enormous abandoned building uh, looked like it might hold all kinds of sinister complex secrets, but all you hear is just the softest little click, and the door so swings good. open in front of you. I run and roll Red. under her legs and through the door and slide in with my knife blade wielded. Uh, you do. Uh, I'm gonna require an athletics check. You're not gonna hurt yourself, but we're gonna see how cool it looks. Oh boy. How, okay. 15. Yeah, you look really cool and everyone can see it because you are in a brightly lit entryway. <sighs> Uh, it looks like you're right in the middle of reception area, except for the high security glass that separates you from where a receptionist would normally be in the daytime. Huh. Mm. Uh, no, there's no one there. Mm. I am. There's a nobody in here. With their tumbling skills. How many doors are there off of this lobby? That is a great question. Uh, you can tell that in the uh, well. Somebody who wants to look around the room. I would like to do a little reconnaissance. I'm not yeah. very aware of Do an awareness check, please. It's a spin. The front desk is located in the middle of the room with high security glass splitting the room horizontally. Ooh. On either side of the front desk uh, is a door that can be opened from the inside by a switch on the desk. You're figuring all that out by looking around. Uh, uh, 11. What was, you, what was your total? 11? Mm. All right. You are able to spot that. You've got the desk, you've got the glass, and you can see that in the back there are a couple of security turrets. Securits. Securits. I call them. Securits. <laughs> uh, normally, there'd be receptionists checking people in and out of the building here. Uh, and right now, that person is not here. But the thing is, you didn't have to burst the door down. So as far as you can tell, the alarm has not yet gone off. Those turrets are just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, and you can just cross over to that desk if you want to. Yeah, I, uh, I flipped the switch underneath. To unlock the door. Click. A small door swings open, and you can see uh, you are on level one. You are inside level one of the former night complex in the Presidio. Uh, this feels too easy. Right. Mm. Yeah. I'm very excited because I think they're watching us. Let's move away from the turrets as quickly as possible. Everyone, through this door. Oh, should I play some being watched music? That hasn't gone well for us in the past, but I think so. Yes. <laughs> I say yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. 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 Being watched. And you pass into mm. the hallway. How long is the hallway? Uh, it is about a hundred feet long. Uh, it's a pretty sizable, it runs, it looks like it runs most of the length of this building. Uh, there is one door to the north. And to the south, it looks like there might be a stairwell. Mm. All right, so we do stairs or door. Stairs or door, stairs or door. What do you want? The stealth do? music has flattered <laughs> all of my... Uh, mental processing power. I think the music came. Uh, door, 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 I told door, a slight door, lie. Door, door. Actually, make a make a look around in the hallway check. All of us? Yeah. Okay. 17. Ooh. Nine. I'm too bombarded by <laughs> tunes to even process. Oh, here you okay. go. Here, here, here. I'll make, I'll, make, I'll put on some quiet roll music. Oh, uh, that doesn't help my <laughs> natural one. Love it. Okay. Oh, an oxymoron. <laughs> what is eyes. it? Uh, uh. You, you are being assaulted with the impressions of how this facility it has been corrupted. Three years since it was on the books. They could be doing anything. They could be breaking every rule that is dear to you. Absolutely an abomination. I got a four. And then what is it? Awareness. Awareness. Eight. I got an eight. Nice. Uh, Semi-aware. So Shug here time. has the best <laughs> perspective on this. The the hallway, uh, which I have somewhat uh, incorrectly described, um, you are able to pop up uh, on your Digitab the following little map, uh, which I'm going to just, for the sake of this guy, lay out. Don't look at this cell. Okay. They're all very cooperative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Made 
And um, where are we? You came into this front room. All right. You crossed the desk. You're now in a long hallway with a staircase at one end and with one, two, three, four, five doors leading off of it. Oh, well. Uh, so you can basically pick uh, any of these in order to check out. Um, with my 17, can I see which door looks like it has the most secure lock? Uh, or are they all equal security rates? You can tell that there is something special about that door to the north that I mentioned. The door uh, to the north. But as you are checking this, by the way, you yeah. n don't just notice the hallway. I notice the hallway, but there's something else. It's a spider drone crawling <gasps> on the wall, and you have passed the successful awareness check to spot it before it can spot you. I draw my pistols. Um, I draw my daggers. I would like to grapple it uh, <laughs> <laughs> down to us so that uh, it is right there on the floor. Uh, hopefully we'll hit the ground hard and then everyone can do their attacks on it. Absolutely. Boot stomp it uh, a successful ground. grapple Dang will spider. keep it from doing anything but trying to grapple you back with its actions. Mm. Uh, and I... Uh, you need initiative? We're kind of playing it by ear with initiative. For the record, they're, they're, they, you can use the standard resource document uh, for familiar rules to do this, um, at this scene at least, is not gonna require a formal initiative. You're gonna get first action. You've already drawn your pistols. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 23. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's Pretty gonna good. do it. Give me the dice so I can roll and pretend that this spider drone has a chance. <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. No, yeah. You leap onto the wall with an agility belying your stout frame there, uh, and you grab it down with one hand and, and you pin it onto the floor where it waves its little spider legs uh, upside down like a turtle. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. Is there any right. damage upon impact? Uh, not from a grapple, but okay. it is gonna prevent it from using its attacks, which right. you know it has. Well, it's grappled, I wanna shoot it. All right. Um, but I'm gonna go fancy with it because this is actually, that was a sweet move and I wanna keep popping my game around you because you're writing my report, so I need to be kind of impressive. Um, so I wanna do what I do best with my guns, which is um, I wanna do a cartwheel with both hands with the pistols because I have a thing called run and gun. So there's always room for acrobatics, especially in a firefight, especially if it's a one-sided firefight, because it can't do anything right now because of this one right here. Yo, did you say acrobatics? Acrobatics. Uh, yeah. Sort of. Arachnid acrobatics. Yeah. Whoa. Arachnid awesome awesome. Song oh name. <laughs> that one's going to top twenty. Arachnid yeah. So I want to attempt to sort of do a cartwheel double shoot. So I, I, if I succeed, some stuff's gonna happen. Excellent. So I'm doing my move and is my shoot it. Anything to use that one, or is it just one of your talents? Nope, it's once per once per round. I'm allowed to do this. Amazing. Um, so what's the check? Uh, you are trying to hit an AC of thirteen. Thirteen. All right. And this is a ranged attack. Oh, that's not gonna do it. So I just move for a regular, cause on a failed attack that just counts as a move, so I just do a weird cartwheel. The gun doesn't go off, I'm a little nervous. Now I'm standing upright, and I'm allowed to take my shoot action. Nice! Oh, good skill! So it's just an opportunity to get two shooting actions. Shigar does a weird kind of cartwheel into the center of the hallway Whoa. and stands there with a, I oh. meant to do that kind of a uh, look on. <laughs> De definitely meant to do that. The second one, on the other hand, does pretty well. That one is going to hit. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what. What kind of damage um, do your gun have? Uh, a D8. Excellent. Plus four. I don't know what a knife blade is. Ooh. I couldn't find it. Nine damage. And that will take the hopelessly pinned spider drone out of commission uh, as your shot with, with a minimum of muss or fuss uh, takes that, that pinned drone's wiggly arms to a 
out position. Yeah. Uh, you've taken the spider drone down. Do the think, hallway's undefended. This will go in my should, report. Thanks a lot. Do you think we should keep that so we can have some research? The spider might, drone? Might have some information on it. Absolutely. Uh, I believe these things fold very compactly with their spindly legs. If we just oh, yeah. They do. It's a little twisted up right now uh, by the, with the charred metal from the shot, but... Uh, I wonder if you could use it as a head massager. Oh, yeah, scratch your head. Oh, yeah. oh, they bring <laughs> all of those to the to the raves that I, I think throw. that's what they were originally designed for, but then the military thought oh, it'd man. be way better as a, as a spider drone. Uh, Dude, the government sucks sometimes. They're trying to take all of our party equipment and turn them into, into spy oh, yeah. equipment. Sometimes you want to leave it, like, a little bit alive, so it just, like, vibrates on your head. It's like... Brrr. Yeah, that's the best. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. But this one's dead. All right, so uh, you have a stairwell and door. A five doors. No, Dude, I could I maybe, I like... Write my report book. Could I, like, hack that spider drone to be a head massager again? In theory, you could. It has been destroyed, so it would take a solid effort to kind of rebuild that thing. It could take a few hours. You could do it. It's what you do. I mean, I'm like a techno hacker, so like I could do it. You're so good if to you me. Want. You would have if to kind want. of abandon the mission that you are doing right now. Oh, okay. I would have to like sit on the ground <laughs> yeah. and do it. All right, I guess we can do it later. <laughs> it's a cool project. You can totally do this. I yeah. do love to craft. Maybe for the weekend. Mm. <laughs> I'm into it. I look forward to being like thrown off stage into the crowd at your next concert. Oh yeah, we do do that. Yeah, we get the girls on stage and then we throw them off. It's fun for them. Yeah. Hmm. All right, should we keep going? I think we should yeah. go into the north door. North door it, it is. It has the most tech on it, which usually means it's hiding the most secret. Absolutely. Mm. It does seem like, uh, it, unfortunately that door is locked with no obvious sign of how to open it. Can I try to open it with my style? Uh, you unfortunately cannot. Oh no. Uh, the uh, mm. the door on the north side, it, it just doesn't seem to have like a Anything. panel you can hack. It seems to be locked. Oh. Oh. Is there glass on the door? There is not. Can I hack that lock? Is it a tech lock? This one you can't. You can't find what on this door to hack. Mm. Weird. Is there a door handle? There is a door handle. Can I just try the door handle? <laughs> Uh, you can do it. Every You're other to force room it. is well. Every other room has sort of just been open, so maybe we'll just get lucky. Okay, try the handle. I try the handle with like a, a regular door opening motion. Yeah, it's locked. I would How locked? Like, can I feel? Like, does it feel like one of those just like boop locks, or does it feel more like crazy locked? It feels pretty solid. Is there a frame around the door? There is. I would like to leap up. Hang on to the top frame of the door and smash my heels with uh, what I learned in night training school uh, into uh, just above the doorknob. <laughs> Typically, where okay. the mechanisms uh, reside. I. What is your strength bonus? Plus four. All right. It's not it's athletics or. Uh, you're just gonna make a a. a is athletics from your strength? It's, it, it is, but it's better somehow. You probably are specialized in it because of your class. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, you... <laughs> Make me a roll. Make me a roll. That's, uh, that's going to be uh, 23. Wow. Uh, athletics or with uh, a, a oh. mighty effort, you kick in just no! above the door, um, and you know it does not come open. But it's you like could swear that with a little more effort or maybe some help, you might be able to do this. Oh yeah, I'll kick shit. Um, I have zero strength, but I will kick. Yeah, four pronged attack. Let's go. I also got zero strength. It's gonna take all of us in a simul attack. Oh yeah, let's I got swag. What's your strength bonus? Plus two. 
Plus zero. Plus Describe zero. this, how this, what this looks like. Okay, what I need is for all of you to give me leverage against the door. So if you could all okay. line up and uh, hold your force against the opposite Ooh. wall, and then I'll launch off of uh, the last person's back. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I have plus six for tumbling. Does that count here? That's Ooh, tumbling. it's a very useful skill. It's not going to help in this case. Oh. I've got uh, plus four for will. So if I just like try real hard to support my friends, I have plus four for agility. If we're you're launching off my back, that is going to impact how cool this looks. Okay, for sure. Mm, right. Um, I'm just gonna use strength. But not the actual I'm just gonna buttons. launch you. Okay. Yeah. I would like. I would like the three of you to launch me. Okay. Into All right. To the door. Yeah. All right. So your team is gonna pick you up and physically fling you at <laughs> yeah. this door. Do so you right. have like a You're helmet very or something? Big boots. <laughs> boots. Okay. So feet first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready. One. Two. two three. Yeah. Ah! And uh, just full disclosure, what we needed was a combined strength bonus of six to force the door <gasps> into the next room. It bursts open with oh, really? yeah. glittering awesome. wood uh, as <sighs> as you bust on in. Can we tumble in? You tumble in as like as if you had coordinated your somersaults. Yeah, I slide in on my knees too. Uh, that's excellent. You come in. <laughs> Sliding into the corner like this. Yeah. I do time yeah, somersaults. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know we all took the same gymnastics classes. Yeah, I've been doing a correspondence course. I now who's in the lead and emerges from your somersaults to see... This spacious room contains three large tanks of fluid. Two of them are empty, and the third... Patron. Contains... No of shadowy, ill-defined mass of flesh. You think some kind of monster? Definitely not Patron. <gasps> Two heavy wrong. turrets point menacingly at you from mounts on the ceiling. Ooh. And a white-haired, unhinged-looking scientist clucks in irritation as you disturb his workstation. Who are you? Oh, hey, uh, uh, my name is DJ Self-Destruct. Answer, answer, we've been sent here because uh, we're to check on your progress. We need a full report. Uh, uh, order of Whitward. Yeah, you're late. He looks instantly panicked. Uh, Ansler looks around at the four of you, and I need you to make a quick negotiation check, but you have advantage. <laughs> What'd you get? Nine. Mm. Uh, just a nine? Just a nine. My personality's a plus zero. Forgot to mention that. It's oh. cool. No. Uh, hmm. he, What's your negotiation, though? Plus zero. It's a... Oh, you know, is that subsidiary. part of that? Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> the, um, so, uh, help with that. And so looks around and, and uh, muffles, ruffles his already unruly hair and goes, I, uh, no time, no time for that. I've, I've got work to do. What do you, it's the, uh, what do you want from me? What have you done to the door? Okay, this uh -huh. is, I'm going to just go up and I'm going to grab him by the lab coat. I'm going to use, unfortunately, some intimidation I don't really have to do much. People seem to be scared of me already. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna grip them and I'm gonna say, all right, we're gonna need your notes right now. And oh, I'm gonna, gonna play intimidation music while put, to, to, to amplify this, okay? And as the music starts bumping, I slowly and very pointedly put my hand on my pistol. I can't give you my research. It's years of my life. It's, and we're doing important work. It's, the guests downstairs won't be happy about this. We're going to meet them, too. What is... What have you... What are you doing? Are you... What is, stop, stop that. Stop yeah. the music. Stop Aren't what, you intimidated? I, I'm going to need 
a, a collective drama role from the past <laughs> as the, the frightened scientist tries to process what's happening. There's a new kind of rage plague. Uh, <laughs> he looks, gives you an, an odd look at that mention. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's got a 10. 12. 12. 18. 18. I have a 18 as well. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Okay. Uh, Leave our time not to That's uh, out of his line of sight. <laughs> on the point even... of of looking, he is absolutely convinced that you all are terrifying and are going to take his work, everything he's worked for, and you. You actually kind of look like one of the agents he's been running from. He can't let you shut him down. He can't let you shut him down. He reaches for a button. Two drones were to life, <gasps> and the third tank goes. Uh, Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And with that, we are going to break. <gasps> oh, we got a break? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> break oh. music. <laughs> Roll for initiative. We are back mm-hmm. with Intromancy on TVD RPG. And also literally roll for initiative because uh, you're right. being attacked. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> but Initi- metaphorically, Ooh, but also 13. with dice. dice. All right, you got a 13. Mm-hmm. Initiative. I got a nine. Mm-hmm. You get plus four over there. I got a 10. You get 14. 12. 14. 14. Um, so, okay, Re- tell me your final totals. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. 9. 9. I do have a scientist in my hands, so I'm a little busy. <laughs> yes, you do. It's true. <laughs> You've got him in your hands. He just uh, managed to hit a button on a little remote he's holding. Little scamp. Uh, <laughs> and... A little, uh, is diminutive and, uh, maybe use a different right. term... He's just scamp. Scamp's good. Hey, where's Padrone at? Uh, floating around next to you. Okay, cool. If we get Padron attacked, gets a turn do you need him to, after your turn? Whenever are you, you trying want. to get him to compliment, yeah. we get him. Uh, also, yeah. I bet Padrone could like drop some Patron on whoever <laughs> we're trying to fight. <laughs> Confuse them with alcohol vapors. Um, you are all going to go first. You've heard two security turrets were to life, and a third tank is starting to open, and whatever was in there. Okay, who can do hacking to uh, not let that creature out? You have a best I'm a, I'm a, I'm a technomancer. I can hack. I can hack it. Technomancer to that tube! Oh, yeah, I gotta put on my hacking beats first, though. I'm gonna take the left Who's turret. First? Let's see, hacking beats. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steph, you're first. <laughs> oh, I'm first. Um, what else do we no, have to do? Well. You can not quickly die. get in the lay of the land. You've got a scientist with a remote in his hand. You've got two turrets that seem like they're whirring in your direction aggressively, and a tank that is uh, starting to open up. Um, uh, I would like to aggressively, um, um, Hurt. Uh, I, I'll, 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 I'll go for the, the, the juicy flesh tube thing. All right. Okay. With my knives. You, I, so it's still in the process of opening. It looks like you um. have a round or two before that thing is fully released. Mm. You can make ready if you want. But you I do. I'm going to use my um, kill or be killed Ooh, thing, which is um, I leave nothing to chance. If I'm able to observe a creature for one round before engaging in combat, my first melee attack against that creature automatically hits for critical damage. Woo! I'm going to go to observe the tube and get my knife. So you cross the room uh, and stand there as as, uh, sort of dry ice-like substance is pouring out of the top of the glass tube that is slowly revealing whatever the flesh creature is. But you... Stare it dead in wherever you think its eyes ought to be. You're watching it. You're going to know it. And by the time that thing is open, it will not be ready for you. That's what I do. That's pretty great. Great. Becca. 
All right, I'm gonna go for the first turret, uh, the one on my left, and I'm going to uh, leap across any tables in order to get up mm. to it to get the leverage. Awesome. And I'm going to uh, just smash the crap out of it with my melee weapon, which is a night blade. Love it. May seem like overkill for this mechanical object, but I'm gonna I'm gonna slash at it. You're gonna use the 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 your elements. You move with the shadows. You wield them. You are in one a creature of shadow. Uh, that is the form of your night agent training. It is the way that you interact with this magical world. Uh, and you head for the right or left turret. Uh, the left one. Left. Always left. Never not left. It's a critical one. Oh, We're rolling a lot of ones tonight. A lot of ones like, today. Uh, wow. Well, maybe man. we should not have put intro in the name of oh, the wow. uh, game. Because yeah. <laughs> oh, entropy is things it's going so towards chaos. Um, and if you didn't already think that was going to happen on DVD RPG, I don't know what show you've been watching. Uh, so let's see. What happens as you slide across? Oh, there's towards a, lot, a bunch of papers on that desk. <laughs> yeah, you uh, your foot catches uh, on on you you sling yourself up onto the desk and you skid on a pile of precious research. Oh no! Uh, this is what my nickname was: skid marks. Oh, <laughs> oh no! But then I s you share an embarrassing detail about your past almost involuntarily uh, <laughs> as you. <laughs> You're just blurting it out to the room. I'm uh, so ashamed. As you, as you, your feet slip right out from under you, uh, and you fall, and you are gonna take. I'm, I'm just gonna say you're gonna take two points of uh, ouchy damage oh. from crushing yourself onto the ground oh, there. Man, I Damn, that was bonk, 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 bonk. painful looking, but that was also embarrassing for you. Absolutely, I hate wow. ouchy damage. Yeah, ouchy damage plus also probably some emotional damage as well. Yeah. You're embarrassed. The record, that is probably not the technical term. I'm sorry to the wonderful makers of Entromancy. <laughs> Ouchie uh, damage, damage and whoopsie me. damage for that little <laughs> confession there. Definitely oopsie yeah. damage. Uh, I write down that oopsie damage. <laughs> the mad scientist looks slightly scornful in his terror. Uh, Whitney, you're up. Uh, yeah, I got a cool thing I can do called system failure. Basically, I uh, fuck shit up. That's what rock stars <laughs> do. So uh, I got a range of 30 feet. Uh, cost one ceridium and... Uh, ceridium? Yeah, I just got to make a hacking check, and it's contested by the target. That's Excellent. It. So I'm gonna go what are you it. aiming for? Uh, what do we got? Turrets? Drones? Yeah, two turrets and a, a tube with a thing in it. I oh, yeah, mean, two is the tube Your with the thing Your friend is taking out the tube with the thing. Is that? I'm, I'm taking care of the ready. tube with the thing. Okay, mm -hmm. great. I'll do the drones. All right. Can I do them both at the same time, or do I have to pick one? Mm, you probably have to pick one, but read me that ability again. Uh, well, I paraphrased hard yeah. systems, comma, fuck shit up. So. Love it. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, hack systems. I yeah. can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> it's one of your Technomancer abilities. I got uh, you. And... You, I have it in System here. failure. You Thank hack the you. system of a machine or an artificial creature, shutting it down temporarily. Make a hacking check contested by the target's own hacking check. All right. If you so, succeed, uh, so the target drone. is unable to take actions and all act attacks made against it have advantage. Ooh. So the, your security turret is an artificial creature for the purposes of the game. It has a yes. plus five hacking. So please beat, ooh, a mm. 22. <gasps> All right, oh. I'm gonna need some really good music for this. <laughs> um, I send you positive vibes, which might not affect your points, but maybe it affects your outlook and lens on the world. <laughs> and grown up at you. Ooh. Just go find a compliment spot in operation. Oh, uh, come on, Wait, let me the tower of beats. I say I am valued. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh. Oh. What is your hit Six. Oh the higher hack bonus, which by one <laughs> is our yeah. friend DJ Self-Destruct. It's lit. Yeah. Who is for what I'm cheering. Currently, yeah. DJ frees this turret as the turret, mm. uh, in the midst of towering up its weaponry and rotating, stops dead in its mechanical tracks. 
uh, and is rendered uh, incapacitated. Uh, while any of y'all who might want to, let's say next up in the order, Gina DeVivo, take a shot at it. We're also uh, holding a scientist. You can do whatever you want. Well, I just got excited. Well, I kind of want to do both. <laughs> um, so, but I can't because it would require a ranged attack. And so my my main focus is is the scientist because yeah. he seems to be keep. He's just got a finger on a button that keeps calling these things. So I'm wearing medium armor, so I've got like a, a hard chest plate vest. Um, so I just want to take the scientist's head and headbutt him into my own chest. Knock him out real quick. It's like a really aggressive, sudden hug to the head. Yeah, he, he needs to get hugged in the face real hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's fabulous. Uh, he, hold on, let me pull up his stats, which I should have done at the break, but I didn't. Um, kids, make copies of your bad guys. <laughs> You're saving trees. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, you don't have to keep. There we go. Waiting music. All right, <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, please. Yeah. Uh, make me just a basic attack. Yeah, melee attack. Yeah. All right. Uh, Eight. Twenty-four. <laughs> no, twenty-three. Sorry, twenty-three. Gonna do it. That is gonna do it. You crush him against your armor. Uh, he honestly <clears throat> looks pretty fragile already. He is just a mad science guy. No, don't touch him. Uh, what? Did you just smash the scientist? Well, he's not dead, although what? please continue this dialogue because I'm fascinated. Don't <laughs> hurt him. Keep him alive. We need that information. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, the prison recon, record baby. Depends, depends on this. V-pin for you if anything happens to his brain. I, I, don't How we much just... damage do you do? Well, let's find out. Yeah. Three damage. You have crinkled him considerably. <laughs> uh, he looks very uncomfortable. Crinkled. Uh, uh, is his information not on computers? Is his brain really that valuable? Yes. He, he looks around to him. <gasps> yes. Y yes, I am. But you're with Knight? Yes. We are operatives for Knight, and I, I don't have to tell you this. D uh, disarm your robots. Oh, uh, will you let me, will you let me go? I'll hug your face again if you don't. <gasps> He's wavering. He's wavering. Uh, someone make, uh, I'm leaning on negotiate because I'm, I, that might or might not be the relevant stat. I can do that if not that's my, necessary. Not my, uh, thing. I got a plus two. I got a plus four. Isn't oh, it yeah. turn? Or I technically, oh, it is turn. the it's the drones right now, but he's he's considering your offer as he gets his uh, okay. um, uh, brain slightly crinkled uh, by this by the armor, uh, yep. and okay. the so one of the drones is one of the turrets is frozen, um, but the second one, unreached by any of your attacks, um, is has focused itself on you, um, <laughs> who attempted to stab it. Uh, prone. <laughs> do you have an armor class on there? Yeah. 16. All right. The uh, the drone you the turret you were after wheels around and takes a shot with its mounted gun at you. Whistles whistles mildly. Mrs. Wildly. Is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> whiffs, 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 whiffs. Uh, well, he sounds good. Wildly. She sounds it, hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the it, it, with a slight shorting out motion, it fires wide of you as you've tumbled out of its uh, range. Not the papers, and I grab for the research that I slid on and, and stuff it into my pockets. And the other turret is frozen. And the uh, tube opens up, revealing at last a page number I should have written down. <laughs> I'm really excited to introduce you to my friend, 
Mm. Patron? <laughs> you hope that it contains another <laughs> tiny, friendly drone that shows alcohol? Maybe. I mean, I guess there's always a chance. But no, ancient beasts, strange beasts in a strange world. Many had thought that the beasts and monsters of legend were just that, legends. However, with the mass synthesization and availability of ceridium, exposure to the element had for some species tremendous impact, revealing, just like in humans, dormant magical genes. Born from either experimentation or the revelation of their ancestral magical heritage, some common animals turned into these terrifying and majestic beasts. These creatures are by no means common, but reports have confirmed their existence in ceridium-rich environment environs. And that's how you find yourself in a world with harpies and basilisks, and in the case of this tube, a chimera. <gasps> <gasps> that's not good. No. Uh, oh, hey, chimera. And now, before the monstrosity can assemble itself out of the tube, someone who stationed themselves right next to it. I've been watching. <laughs> Comes at it. What does your attack look like? My attack looks like um, two daggers. Excellent. To the eyeballs. Two daggers to the eyeballs of the yeah. camera. Uh, no. As uh, you, which is great because it uh, is multi-headed. So you have oh, lots of eyeballs to spare. I, yes. Uh, um. And you, you go screaming at it. Uh, it is a deadly threat level, but you are prepared with a critical hit. I do. Which means you are going to take whatever damage dice your daggers have. Yes. You're going to roll okay. them twice and then add the bonus. Okay. So mine's 2d6 plus 4. Now it's 4d6 four four plus 4. Four We're going to need more d6s. Wow. Uh, for Steph's for attack here. Four for your Vanguard oh attack. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, and then four, and then. That's pretty good. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's 10, like a, a 11, 13. 12, 13 plus four? Plus four, seven. 17 points of damage. And it's a promise of a critical damage. Mm hmm. You have basically doubled your damage on this <gasps> by watching and waiting Ooh. and picking your moment. Uh, Fantastic. And uh, uh, with a scream of pain, the chimera that was emerging from the tube staggers. Uh, with, with, I mean, daggers in the eyes. Nobody oh likes goodness. daggers in the eyes. I go, wham, 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 wham. And with a flurry eyes. of blow, oh. uh, you, are, you are all over the creature. And Dr. Ensler lets out a whimper. No, my work. No, his work. Why do you have a heart on for his work? Uh, Wait, why do you have to preserve the yeah. research? That's part of our mission. Okay, let's um, just incapacitate The research is going to kill us. Uh, what if we kept it incapacitated? So, like, how about, uh, uh... Is that 26 damage? What? Wasn't that 26 damage? Uh, it was, well, the the doubling was with the extra dice. It it has a lot of hit points, but that was a really good hit. Um, I'm just saying. What if we just, uh, Padron, go dump some Patron on that chimera. Uh, just confuse it a little bit. Hmm? I believe um, it's my turn. It is your turn. Oh, okay, a backup plan. <laughs> okay. You know what? I didn't like how close it got there uh, when I <laughs> slipped and uh, fell on my face and almost destroyed all this research and uh, got potentially hit by the drone. So I'm going to do something called <laughs> double trouble. Oh. I'm going to make a copy of myself that appears adjacent to me and win an attack Hits me, the attacker must succeed in an awareness check, otherwise they hit my doppelganger. Heck yeah, where there had been one shadowy dwarf uh, with a night agent gear and a determined look on her face, there are now two. Oh no, there's two. Oh. Whoa! And twins! Whoa. Amazing. No. <laughs> uh, and then that is just a move action. It costs two ceridium. So, uh, but. Now, that was pretty cool. Am I? Uh, you can still make an attack. Close enough for a melee or a ranged yeah. attack? Yeah, melee. Whatever you want. And then uh, I have to uh, move Go upwards for the onto and the a chair onto the turret that shot at me. That nice. one that's not incapacitated. The left turret, and I'm gonna go up through the base of it with my night blade. All right. Don't you dare let me embarrass myself while attacking you! Wait, can I have the magic dice? With the magic one, the six. 
Okay. I think it made its way over there. Oh. I don't have it. Um, if it was one of these, I have all the dice. Dang. What's my... Is that athletics? Uh, you, I believe it will be. You might have... Oh, melee, attack. melee attack is plus six. Okay, great. Melee. Uh, it mm -hmm. is 13! Oh my god, 13 is exactly what you needed Whew. to hit this turret. Um, which I keep trying to look up under drones, even though it is not there. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. yeah, purple one. It definitely has a, a class baby. of 13. What kind of damage do you do on the turret? Oh, she's got it. Uh, what? Well, I just, I just like this, my knife blade oh, you has the power of Sorry, shadows. Sorry, you even more succeeded than I thought. <laughs> it has the power of shadows, and as I as I slam it up through the, the turret before it has a chance to fire another shot, shadows explode out of it, and it disintegrates. How much damage did you do? It sounds real good. Oh, well, let's see. 1d12 plus 4. Is this a d10 or a d12? 1d12 plus 5. No, that's not enough sides. S -s uh, strong 7. Seven incredibly cool looking shadow clad points of damage as you have hacked it nearly off the wall. It is hanging unsteadily uh, from one hinge. It looks like it might still be functional, but it's not doing great. Mm. Uh, and next up Jean. is Whitney. Uh, add a game question. When is Padrone's turn? Or can I <laughs> Before sacrifice? Before after your turn, anytime. Okay, yeah. great. I would like to send Padrone to dump some Patron on top of this chimera. Okay. To confuse it nice. and disorient it. Get it in the eyes. Right the in the eyes where it, where it gets stabbed. And while that happens, I am going to DJ. It's like putting aloe on Ooh, the is this a, is it this it a, out. Is this a new, mm, is this a new scene? Can I have upgraded Padrone? <laughs> <laughs> What would you have it do? Insults. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I don't know how that... I need you to roll to see how well it went. It might not be a 20 this time. But, okay, uh, great. Give me a basic roll and add your hack check. Insult first and then dump or dump first? Uh, which do you want to do first? Upgrade it? I'm going to upgrade it. Okay, first. this is just determining, because you upgraded it in the hallway. We're yeah. just seeing how well it went. Yeah, I did. Tell me your joke. 7 plus 6, 13. Okay, it went. For, it okay, yeah. yeah. Not as good. It no, doesn't, because it's, it's a healing drone, so it doesn't make it feel as good as it makes you feel bad. No, uh, opposite. It makes me it feel kind better. of just seems good natured, you know? Yeah. But like, yeah. it's trying. It's a healing. Okay, so it goes over and it goes, man, you suck. Oh, no, I forgot the <laughs> put drones was. It goes, man, you suck. <laughs> You're not that great. Pretty much. And we don't like you. <laughs> And then it dumps Patron in its eyes. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, it is, let's see. How does it react? Is it singing? Is <laughs> Good job, Patron. Do I, need, do I not need to roll for the Patron drop? We're going to roll to see uh, how effective it is as a weapon against the Chimera. Man, I love Patron. Mm -hmm. If any of you have ever tried this, tell me how it went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is this? Uh, do I have any, do I have any beast. extras for Your this? Your drone has stats. My do drone has stats. drone's stats uh, seem like they would give it, like, does it have agility? an agility? Agility yeah, plus yeah. two. Great. Come on, Padrone. Nine. So, you, the camera's wet. Yeah! Oh, it's right. like uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, so it's uncomfortable. We don't want to kill it, right? Yeah, just pour a little of that salt and it's oh my god, do I have salt? Ones. I think I mean, that I was the you have lime juice. I, I thought that was your insult. It was like some salt in the wound. Oh so yeah. Throw that, and then then the Oh with my the, god, the, the patron the salt. Yeah, it goes together. That's magic, bro. <laughs> As you try to explain a mixology to the camera, uh, <laughs> born in the mad science lab of the abandoned night facility in the uh, rager encrusted air neighborhood of the Presidio in future San Francisco, um, <laughs> like an ordinary night. Uh, it's Gina's turn. Great. Oh, well, wait, that was your drone's turn. What do you do? Oh, okay. I'm going to get serious okay. now. What do we. Uh, 
Mm, do I do? Mm, spell attack? Let's see. You want to take out that turret that you currently have advantage against? Oh, I didn't kill it? You, you stopped it from doing stuff, but it won't last forever. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll take it out. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to karate chop it. Nice. Give classic, me a roll. Like it. Classic You get karate advantage shop. on You're this because it is a it sitting duck. Okay, I'm going to throw... Listen, I'm not going to karate chop it because my partner has pointed out that I am better at ranged. So instead of <laughs> yeah. what, what I'm going to do... You is, look towards the night agent inspired by her death strategic moves, her yeah. mastery of the shadows, uh, yeah. her general aura of command, and that embarrassing nickname she alluded to, which makes you feel filled with trust. Yeah, so here's what I grab. I grab one of several glow sticks that I have. Yes. I have them on me at all times. You will fight you her know. shadows with light Instant and will team up with them. And I, <laughs> you fling a right glow stick. Uh, Thank you. Which is just gonna have some weapon damage that we make up. Uh, Nineteen oh, plus. Oh, oh man. What? Uh, wow. Four. Yeah, that's that's yeah. extremely going to hit. Yeah, uh, it's important to stay lit. Uh, you use whatever damage rules you want for these. What's what's the uh, Oh, do you have a, a range damage formula there? 1d6 plus 2? Yeah. Excellent. Um, add two more because you got a 19. This is not the rules. Please play Entermancy correctly, <laughs> not the way I'm doing it. One. Two, three, four, five points of damage. All right. Uh, this a, a turret uh, is <laughs> swinging <laughs> also unsteadily on one hinge. They both still look like they're active, but you've taken a nice chunk out of them both. Yeah, it looks kind of cool now because it's glowing. <laughs> uh, your uh, shutdown of the system, does it last for one turn, or does it last until you stop the effect in some other until way? Until the end of her turn. Thank you. Um, which, unfortunately, is right now. Oh, I should have gotten advantage. Dang. Eh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I talked It's your first this. mission. Mm hmm? You were distracted by your embarrassing nicknames. Yeah, it's uh, okay, Skidmark. We're not going to call you Skidmark. I trust that that was the last time. Yeah, I'll skid. Oh, uh, yes. S what can we call you? S -M? Kick axe kicker. Axe kicker, Mark. Mark? Ass kicker, Mark. Did you see what I just did to that? Is Murph? your name Mark? <gasps> no, it's, it's Murph. What about Ass Murph? Okay, I like it. <laughs> You're a Smurf. A Smurf. No, I'm a Smurf. A Smurf. It's a nickname Smurf. that my friend gave me for being tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely what it is. That's what happened. <gasps> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, play to passes to show yeah. over here. Yeah, I'm really confused by this entire interaction. <laughs> uh, because I have been informed that I'm not allowed to take down the monster that is currently killing us. So I guess I'm just gonna get the research in his brain because that seems to be the thing that my officer is telling me that I need to do. So I'm just gonna put my Digitab into the port in his neck and I'm gonna download his brain. Oh. That seems like the thing that we need. So I'll, I don't need the meat body, I just need the brain, right? Incapacitate, don't decapitate. Yeah. I'm not decapitating, I'm downloading and discarding. Just yelling, Take just yelling things that rhyme. Right. Um, Great. It's Asmurf over here. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Asmurf. Okay, Thanks you for the download. want to download the knowledge in his brain. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the, the, the searching for download. I, you know, I'm... Hold on, we're improvising. Uh, and I imagine someone I like think. him has sort of ports all over to like keep information. And he's not a cyborg, but well, everyone's got parts. That's true. Um, I I'm gonna just take a quick. All right. If he uh, doesn't got one, that's cool. I can just shoot stuff. I'm checking. He looks like he might have some slight magical energy, but there's no obvious uh, tech ports that you can see. Oh, that's a bummer. Mm. Does he have a computer in front of him? Oh, yeah. Then I can stick it into that. Room's full of computers. The one he was at. Yeah. I'll stick it into there. Still holding him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to make... Uh, he's going to try to struggle out of your... Grasp, which he failed to do last time, but that's gonna right. be, you're gonna hold on to him. 
uh, as as your action there. Uh, please roll me a strength check. Okay. Sixteen. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> no one anywhere. Come on. He has started Tell me how to get into your computer. Weeping, and you think with a little more pushing, he might be ready to make some kind of deal. He's seems he's not defiant. Don't let Gerbil hear him cry. It's not gonna go well. Is that his name? Or is your name Gerbil? Joybull. Oh, that's me. I'm Joybull. Oh. You're very emotional. All right, sensitive. so this, this, oh, yeah. this scientist is... Oh, this is starting to cry? Is, well, he looks a little wet, so... <laughs> is it, what do you mean by um, wet? Oh, from the padrone. No, I mean he's leaking from the eyes. <laughs> oh, no, like the chimera. chimera. No, a different Just, kind of wet. Can't we make s some kind of deal? Yeah, open your computer and give me your research so I don't have to destroy your brain for the information. No, give it to night. Oh, crying, don't What's make him that? cry. You know that what this mission is, right? Um, I know that we, you all have a goal, and I may or may not have a similar goal. What is your goal? <laughs> Audience, just so you know, at the break, we implemented an optional mechanic for entromancy. Uh, based on factions, people may or may not be pursuing some extra objectives during our Presidio heist mission. I'm in. <laughs> we were all frozen. Um, all lost saved by the bell. Go <laughs> to your research. And maybe we'll let you go. Um, what do you say? Did I say uh, we work for night? I, uh, that was a lie. Who, um, oh. Are you with the NHCRG? And CHRG? Yeah. CHRG is... In CHRG, yeah. the organization for me. We know the chance. In CHRG. Yeah. You're not human. Not. They don't usually work with y your kind. Uh, is this is disguises. The, the chrome? <laughs> no, it's the uh, the independent ones. Oh, the, the independent ones. I was adopted. Mm -hmm. oh. Shars. Shars. This uh -huh. one is... So yeah. if you could just uh, download your information okay. onto this tab. Um, oh, I was gonna make my own. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is great. If he discovers or believes that you all are uh, allying with the unaligned or the NCHRG, you are going to have advantage when making negotiation checks with or discernment, which is like insight checks, uh, similar to but distinct from, uh, against him. Hmm. So uh, you've just convinced him that maybe you're not here to shut him down and maybe some kind of deal is possible. But all, all I, I just I just want to continue my research. If you could leave the subject alone, maybe maybe this was all a, a misunderstanding. He uh, wants to make a negotiation check. Oh yeah. 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 All right. You have advantage on this negotiation check with yeah. Dr. Ansler. Yeah. Believe me, I ain't no knight. <laughs> I think I'll keep so, that one. Yeah, that was an 11 and a 20. Woo! Uh, a 20, Oh, of I course. didn't roll the other one. I only rolled the one. Wait. That she was just, just there. Rolled, um, that I, one. I just, I rolled the 20, and then I said I'll keep that one. It was a cool line. I don't Even think better. it's going to get higher than that. Even better. That was literally the first roll. Uh, I saw the 20 land and just got excited about it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. So tell me what deal you would like to strike with Dr. Ansler. All he wants, uh, you quickly figure out, is to get out of here and continue his research. And he is going to basically tell you or agree to anything to do it. Great. Well, give us unlimited access to research here forth. Um, anything he does from this point on in all past research. Uh, stop sticking monsters and turrets on us would be super great because, you know, you're just gonna shoot people on your own team. Not cool. Uh, also, I would like his car. 
Um, I'm sure he can arrange something for a different one. I bet he's got a sweet ride. He's a top scientist. There's probably some cool buttons in it. Um, is there anything else you guys want? Uh, just some research for me would be great. Uh, maybe oh. his allegiance to whatever organization uh, we... W- w- yeah, just keep working in the lab. I just I want to know what the um, most vulnerable point of this base is. Yeah, can you tell us all about this base? That would also be really helpful <laughs> with the research. Also, oh. did you name this creature? I'd like to know its name. Oh, that's so good. It's you know, I did the thing with subject. the shadow. No thy enemies. I think we should name it. I think yeah. we should name it. We should name it Bleedy Eye. Bleedy Eye. Bleedy right. Eye. That sounds tight, dude. Bleedy yeah. I like it. So, subject Bleedy Eye. Uh, yeah. Well. So, all access. I want every code that you have that gains access to this entire facility. With shaking hands, he hands you a data pad. Uh, or you. a digitab. I attach uh, it to my digitab. With uh, credentials for throughout the building. Perfect. Um, you are easily able to pull up a schematic that shows that on this floor there's the lab, there's a control room that would uh, that mostly just gives you access to this lab. Uh, there is a break room. There's a couple other smaller rooms. Upstairs mm-hmm. are barracks. Um, where there might be some security folks. And downstairs are some confusing markings that say pen A and pen B. Mm. All right. Thanks. I let go of his coat. <laughs> I, uh, I smooth out the wrinkles, and I say, sorry about that. We just had to make sure that you hadn't defected. Uh, uh, sorry about your turrets. They did attack first, but, uh, but uh, you know, keep, keep doing what you're doing. These are finger guns, by the way, non-lethal. He, uh, <laughs> it looks not super comforted by that. Uh, you could have magic. He doesn't know. Uh, and, and he moves in the direction, and he's like, can I put sub, uh, subject lady eyes. eyes back in? Yeah, go for it. Oh, dude, I want to give you something also. Here is, a, I give him a license to party pass. That's for you. He holds That's it really up. That's really valuable. Yeah. yeah. Did you sign it? What is oh, the... oh, shit, 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 artifact. It gets you access to Party Town anytime you want. Yeah. Oh, shit, you get the... There you go, I signed it. That's pretty well, good. You should ask for the signature. I think, I, I thought maybe not all on the job. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do want one, though. Yeah. So, if you, um, I can... Party he, with that he's license. loading yes. chim- the chimera back into that third tube. Wait, I don't know about that. This looks like uh, a dangerous, bleedy eyed chimera. It's being contained yeah. by the scientists. We'll take your remote to be sure. I mean, yeah. That you um, can't. Plus, this guy still has got a license to party, and you know somebody's still if they got a license to party. Mm. But anyway, did, did you tell us where the most vulnerable point in the building was? Or just, it's right here. Just, We're not say? destroying the building. No. I'm just curious. Oh, it seems the way we went in. There were literally two doors that weren't locked, and then one that we busted down. We got really lucky on that one. You did hack the outside door. So It was locked. But it's the other I meant the door. lobbies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That door. Very uh-huh. easy. Very easy. But, like, that's the weakest point of the building? You want me to roll to see if there's anywhere weaker? Yeah. Okay. Check those plans. He has uh, obeyed your instructions to take the turrets offline. They're they're still struggling, but they're not actively firing on all of you. What kind of check is this? Knowledge. This is 13. All right. Uh, You can see that there is, as he said, an upstairs, this level, a downstairs with those mysterious pens, and then kind of a weird big open area that you weren't expecting. Uh, it's unclear what that is. Sort of oh. underground. There's a weird underground area. Okay. Seems pretty open. Might be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I think it's ragers. We gotta go. But we're already inside, so. You think that the underground has some ragers? Absolutely. Okay, let's go there. You guys, how did you know? Who told you? I do was a get. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew, uh, obviously, because I am a trusted. Agent in Dude, yeah. Asmurf information. has some pretty lit. The NCA agencies, I mean, <laughs> I thought you'd be happy we're trying to. Look, I'm doing valuable work. 
The rage plague is not well understood. No one will miss these test subjects. <gasps> Who? You're testing on, uh, on Oryx? Performing <gasps> research. Ah. <gasps> oh. Yo, I that is not cool, man. I don't know if I can go with this charade anymore. That is strictly against night. You sure you don't want his brain smushed? A little bit. I would like to demand my uh, party license revoked. Please turn in your badge and your gun also. Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, give that back. I'll save this for later I, for someone I, who you, really deserves it. Can I read what he's doing to the test subjects? Mm, you make another knowledge check to see whether okay. you can get at those files. Twelve. It's it's not clear. Dang, you got a lot of files, dude. I want to uh, use my grappling to uh, tie him to the nearest chair. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me yeah a basic. <laughs> Eleven. Well, he's not actually struggling, so it's not a super elegant process. Uh, but what do you, what are you physically using? I found duct tape. Yeah, on the you table. Did. <laughs> you did. Uh, the, there, there's miscellaneous scientific supplies. There's some uh, semi-broken lab equipment. It seems like his priority is doing stuff, and he doesn't 100% care whether it looks respectable. So half the stuff in this lab is held together with duct tape, and there is always, always a ready backup supply. Uh, so within the work of a few minutes, the white-haired scientist, Dr. Ansler, has been uh, immobilized and is attached to his uh, slightly broken wheelie chair. Sorry, doctor, but uh, your work has been decommissioned. I don't understand. I, th can't, I thought we were working together. The NCHRG. Uh, the NCHRG aren't so sure about you anymore. They think you've been disloyal. You've got to. You've got to tell us the easiest way to get down into pin A and pin B. The staircase at the end of the hallway. And uh, if if there's any uh, antidote in this lab to what you've given them. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I spit his chair out. Oh, back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Adam oh, Smurf. Stop, you tell stop, me what I want to know. Stop them, Miss Smurf. Miss Smurf, I'm sorry. I like your method. Uh, it's yeah. ass Smurf to you. It, yeah. Uh, he looks he very fun. dizzy. I don't. Uh, uh, there might. Uh, it was still. I. And he begins to pour out his own tale of woe. Oh. He. Uh, and I swear I'm not making this up. Uh, gerbil, lost his cover pet your gerbil at a very young oh. age. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you don't always know how to fix them. And sometimes, sometimes the damage you do can't be undone. Uh, but there, there might be ways. And you gather from what is becoming an increasingly unhinged, very dizzy, tired, confused scientist babble. Uh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Don't uh, experiment on your pets, you freak. That he can't, uh, just, she's still doing it. It's right there. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, that, that, that there might be uh, like the some chemicals the that will help downstairs. It, uh, well, it's the chimera list. Now it's emotionally the new gerbil. The gerbil was many years ago. Um, emotionally the new gerbil. Great song uh, title. But, uh, but there, <laughs> Emotional gerbil. He, he doesn't know how to cure the rage plague. It's part of what he's working on, but he's also, he's trying a lot of some things that make it better, some things that make it worse. There's a lot of potential aids down there, but he does, he has figured out some calming drugs. And you find out one of the pens has been subdued uh, successfully with a calming drug. The other one, uh, they have deliberately been leaving in their frenzied state. Do you know uh, which one's be, which? Uh, okay. Yes, he's able to point you on the, the, the map which oh, of the you. pens has the, uh, uh, what are they calling oh, it? Containment folder, uh, duh. Uh, it's Rager Pit uh, Beta. 
Beta. I, uh, has a bunch of ragers that have been tranquilized with high doses of oxidium, that drug that uh, alleviates some of the effects of the rage plague, but has some other. <gasps> this is going in my report. I oh, they can promote me for sure. I it's walk up to, to the scientist and I slap him across the face. <laughs> and I said, I know your gerbil, your joyful died, but my parents died. And I'm not hurting innocent people. No. He looks struck to the soul he had forgotten he had mm. in the moment of your intervention. And for the first time since you met him, seems truly at a loss for words. He mutters something about knowledge, but even he can't stand to hear the sound of the words coming out and quickly lapses into some kind of silence, which might be ashamed. Uh, what was the name of that uh, that chill drug, Oxidium? Oxidium. Yeah, could we get some of that? I'm working on some new beats, and I feel like it would be really great for the shows that I'm trying to Make promote. me a knowledge roll. Okay, great. Sounds highly addictive. Uh, knowledge. Boom, plus six. I'm a real smart DJ. Twelve. Yeah, it's highly addictive. Yeah. And it has some pretty wicked side effects. Humans who take it have been uh, showing enhanced strength and uh, just getting uh, increasingly dependent on it as a subject and showing aggressive behavior. Mm. And uh, you've seen... Uh, what it can do in the wrong amounts. It tranquilizes up to a point and then... And then it makes you extra aggro. Yeah, that stuff's not good. But it is really good if you've got, like, a chill ultra wave show and then, like, back have, have that back-to-back -back with, like, a hard fest because, you know, you get chill and then you rage, you know? It's, like, mm. kind of like you get all your sleepies out and then you get all your punchies out. Good party time. Yeah, right. do you have more of those? Good thing they closed the historic gender data gap back from hundreds of years ago when a small dosage uh, could uh, affect uh, different genders, uh, but prescribed at the same rate. Anyway, no big deal. That was your he, ago. history lesson. He, he looks up with scorn uh, and says, oh, the dark ages. When we only chose approximately less than 50% of the population as test subjects, it was scientifically indefensible. What were they thinking? And he's kind of off again. Yeah, oh, here's uh, that. <laughs> Even this guy knows. <laughs> wow. It's all about the data. He's not letting that, letting that get in his way. Absolutely. <laughs> so I've experimented on oryx of every gender. <laughs> okay. Damn, I, I, I don't, don't know how to feel about that. this guy. Like, in, on one mm. hand, we... Pretty bad, and on the other, he's pretty woke. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the, is, is there any other orc here? Are you all? Is We're anyone all else? Technically orcs. We're all orcs. Mm -hmm. Oh man, no we, regular humans came on this mission. We no. should go save our people. Yeah, well, of course, we have to release everyone in the in the beta beta pen that's been treated with the well, obsidian. But yes, but if we release them, I imagine that drug will wear off, and then there'll be just more ragers out on the street. Yeah, for sure. Which is not good on the street, but it is great in the club. No, they've they've been treated. I I don't think it. We gotta let them free. Can I find out if the drug is permanent? Uh, in this case, they are going to be better off released than stuck in these pens. For definitely, sure. but like released like on the streets. Like, does this does the. Uh, Oxy thing wear off. Um, it. Uh, you are you are pretty sure that the best bet for these guys is to just go free and have a chance to naturally recover from the effects. The rage plague is not permanently fatal in everyone. Oh, um, being okay, stuck down here together in the pits not a great outcome for them. No, not super great for your self care. Yeah, we shouldn't put Oryx in cages. <laughs> okay, uh, to the basement. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Leaving the bound and gagged, duct taped uh, Dr. Ansler in his lab. I spin him a couple more times just for good measure. <laughs> I just give him a yeah. look. I wave bye. Let's clear <laughs> this base. You make your way to the underground level of the night complex, uh, the former night complex. 
Uh, I'm checking if there's anything I'm forgetting about the stairwell. It's a clean stairwell with a set of stairs going up to the second floor and a set of stairs headed down to the subfloor. I believe the basement's down. Um, it is. It is a dark basement locked with an electrified gate and typically inaccessible. But it looks like uh, if you have a Digitab with some access credentials, say Ansler's access credentials. The Digitab is his remote that powered the turrets? Uh, he gave a Digitab to you. No, I've got, I've got all the access yeah. codes. Well, the How? Tabs. Uh, well, with a click, that uh, bottom level opens up. And you find yourself... Would anyone like to do some saving and liberating right about now? Absolutely. Let's yeah. do it. Uh, just so you know, in my report, I'm going to make you sound... I mean, you did a lot of cool stuff, but I'm just going to make myself sound like a little bit better. Um, yeah, that's we, cool. As long okay. as you say I showed up and did the mission, we're cool. Absolutely. You are in a smallish hallway down uh, in the bottom floor. You can see a door on your right, a door on your left, and a door ahead. Um, and you saw that the big empty space from the map is way ahead of you. But immediately on your right and left are these two doors. And uh, you, the one on the right is eerily quiet. The one on the left, you hear some disconcerting moans and rasps. I think that's probably Alpha? Probably. Okay. It sounds about right. Because the other one is quiet. We've got to try and obtain some more Oxidium, and then we can help them, but this is all we can do for now. Okay? Yeah, help them. All right. You go open the door. I'll start looking through the data pad to see if I can find out what floor the that drug is on. I'll go with you. I'm good at thievery and stealth and hacking. Perfect. Uh, all right. Are you splitting up? Or you? What did I just have? Let's just oh, open the I mean, door first. Yeah, okay. I, I was. I wasn't gonna go anywhere. Sorry, I was making gonna, a plan. Gonna, <laughs> making a plan. I was gonna look for, for after. Maybe for all I know, maybe the cages have like a, a an actual spray within the room. So I'm just gonna do some research right okay. now. Okay. Which one are you headed for first? Beta. All right. You turn towards Rager Pit Beta, which is the door on your left. This large room. Always left. I told you, always left. Smells like rotten meat Ugh. and death. That's not good. And That's large piles Killer of combo. straw are matted down along the wall for bedding. It is eerily quiet. And in this room, will someone hand me a, a D4? Mm. Four. Or five. Ragers, oryx of various type uh, that you can recognize as having the telltale physiological symptoms of the rage plague, but in this case, clearly tranquilized, uh, who are just peacefully lying down along the matted bedding uh, in, in rager pit beta. And next to them, you see a stack uh, of, of small syringes um, with, uh, labeled with letters. Oh, hey. All right, well, load up the key card, open the door. Uh, to We're, raise your pit beta? Yeah. Uh, I've got full access. Skeleton key. That's true. Uh, you don't need it, though. In this case, the door just opened to this room just fine, and they're quiet, what? and nobody attacks you. That's oh, right. a really wow. dangerous practice in this facility, <laughs> but okay. Attention, you are now all free. If you step into the limo outside, we will take you to hospital as soon as we are able. We are night, and we are here to save you. Uh, yeah, I got some freedom music for you guys. Ready? Here it is. Oh, I also dabble in license-free commercial music. <laughs> so, like, I figured this would be nice for freedom. We want you guys to feel Ooh. chill as you're being free. They Super chill. seem to sort of, <laughs> moving slowly, they get themselves up, and they seem to be clustering around your drone that the music is coming over. Yeah, you know, you could use this music for anything, like tampon commercials, uh, technology commercials, <laughs> medicine commercials. Uh, baby oh, that's food. why a bunch of symptoms are going through my head right now. Yeah, huh. yeah, it can mm. be pretty dangerous too. You can get some like psychosomatic uh, 
cranial implants that make you triggered at the sound of this music, but I don't use my music for bad, you know, I use it for good. Anyways, yeah, come you've on, let's go to the limo. many times to help program some of these virtual punishment and interrogation programs. Have you ever done it? Oh, no way, dude. I just like to party. Listen, I'm a... DJ Self Destruct is about two things, good vibes and partying. Hmm. Listen. So when your drone moves slightly to the side, it looks like the tranquilized ragers all kind of follow it. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Follow. Uh, oh, and you know what? By the way, I would like uh, Padron to just pour everybody a little glass. Listen, we've had a hard day. Uh, so all the prisoners, they get a little, you know, they get a little sauced. And guess what? Party cars for everybody. Man, I love you guys. I love being on this mission with you. I'm having the best time. Look at all these new fans I have. Can Asmurf? Also have a party card? Uh, heck yeah, you can. You can have the autograph one that I took away from that weird scientist. Oh, wait, what about me? Uh, heck yeah, I kind of ninja okay. throw one I at you. It. <laughs> this one is special. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, I'll sign them all. No, Here, you're give me oh, yours back. Oh, shit. Wait. So special oh, can you, can you sign them? Yeah, here you go. Oh, thank wait, you. Wait, my vintage one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love what okay. you said. There you go. Wow. You said, I, hey, it's I'll, a reinforced writing utensil you have there. Yeah, it's strong. <laughs> it's amazing. Pencil. So you're handing out party cards so, successfully. Self-destruct, uh, I know it's a lot to ask, but since mine's from a while ago, do you think you can use your signature from three times ago? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the lines. I love the lines. That was my favorite signature. Is that why you got those markings you go. on your face? Yeah, it's the lines. Oh, yeah, dude, I didn't even notice you got my signature got on it. your face. It's a little abstract. I changed the way the angle was just, you know, to fit the shape of my face a little better. Wow, a true fan. Yeah, I remember you had those when you had your light-up muscles on. Yeah, that was the day I got it. Wow. They did it in the crowd. The guy had a tattoo machine. It was pretty wild. Man, wow. this is a great day. I'm having a great day. What's the mission? I don't even know, but Dude, guess what? I got a bunch of new fans. Fans and what a hell of a cool old one. All these orcs trapped in this room. Could you lead them out? With oh, your right, right, right. Come on, orcs. Let's go. <laughs> Can you send the bot out to our limo, maybe? Oh, yeah. Padrone. Get out. Get over, go lead them over to the limo, okay, bud? I, I kind of don't want to leave me, though. I gotta, I'm, I've never sent Padrone out on Padrone's own. The drone turns back. Oh no. Oh. What are these feels? I think I need to play a sad EDM <laughs> song. <laughs> Let me see what oh, I have. No. <gasps> Every drone has to go out on its own someday. <laughs> is that, that's, that's your song. You wrote that one. He'll be back, you we'll know? Let's see what it is. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of tears. Sounds like the rating of tears. Oh. Oh. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patron. Goodbye, Patron. Patron, don't leave your mom. Don't leave your mom. Or get away. Don't go up the staircase. Oh, I need a minute. Oh, Followed so happy after. By five sort of calmly yeah. shambling uh, oryx. Goodbye, Padron. I hope to see you again, my friend. I am also gonna miss having alcohol and immediate access. I, I grab one of them and shake them to see if they respond. Hey, uh -uh. you're out. You're out. You're fine. Everything's okay. You can go back to your normal life. Uh, you can sense intelligence in the eyes, but something's not connecting. It's either the drugs or the like, just a sh level of shock from what they've been through. There's someone still in there, but they're not answering the door. Oh yeah, they are high. Wait, who's still do in? Do something. Maybe Wait, I go someone's grab. still in there. Do they have a letter? Or... I mean, the, the tranquilized frenzied rager. There's a person still in there. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant in the room. No, that makes sense. <laughs> it, when I play it back, that seemed unclear. No, no, no. It, it was okay. clear. Yeah. Behind the eyes. Yeah. Behind the eyes. Uh, still should we, I should we try and do something? I mean, there's the... Get him to the safety of the car. We've still got a room full yeah, of not-so-friendly ones to deal with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all piling into limo, Go right? Go on, Shambler. Yeah. Yeah, just get him in there. He'll find the hot tub. He'll be yeah. okay. 
the hot tub will probably oh, be pretty soothing tub. to them right about now. Yeah. yeah. They got they also, listen, by the they time they smell get like back, death and they might need a bath. Yeah, they're gonna get in the and they're gonna get in the limo. I could probably call another one just for us and they'll have the padron and they're just gonna have a nice old time. Let's have a concert after. Big eyes and two That's little actually a pretty good the point. Schindler turns. Uh, and heads to follow the others uh, up the stairs. When mm-hmm. uh, can I program the car that once it senses that the amount of bodies that I am now counting are in the seats, that it auto drives to the hospital? Because yeah. I already took the the scientist car. We've got a ride already. Okay. All You're right. sending away the limo with the hot tub. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> we've we've got we've got. Now there's a lot of room in that limo, and you know there's another room in here. Yeah, but that one. Might eat the other one. Okay. So. Yeah. We'll this see. One can call mini rides. Oh yeah. Uh, give me a vehicles check. To All see right. If you can uh, do that rope. Rope Okay. Uh, Twenty one. Oh yeah. Um, the car's like understood. I will wait until I get the appropriate number of passengers. Thank you. Thanks so much, limo friend. Well, that's a great sounding car. Yeah, I have enjoyed being your limo friend. <laughs> well, yeah, I told really you it could probably limo. drive itself. It can. I turned it off. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sometimes cars need brakes, too, you know? I hope it was not my driving <laughs> that offended you. No, you're great, limo. I just <gasps> like to take the wheel by my own hands. Limo understands. Whoa, your car understands. Studio. Limos are great, man. They're yeah, really limos so rule. <laughs> They're easily the nicest of the self-driving it's cars. It's really yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. You'd think they'd have a bigger thing. ego with how flashy they are, but they're actually pretty humble cars. Super they're chill. Trying to sport utility to be rather uppity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that tracks. Can mm. I look at some of these syringes? Yeah. Are they empty? Uh, they're full. Oh, this. look at that. What oh, lucked out? Chill serum? Is this a They're lettered A through. Who wants to e? make a, a knowledge roll? Ooh, I got a plus six, and I know my drugs. You do. I know my designer drugs from, you know, being a DJ and whatnot. Thirteen plus six. Oh, 19? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're looking over uh, Shug's shoulder at the the research Come files, and this. you you just you spot it right away. Um, you spot a familiar-looking chemical compound, uh, pop it up, and you see that a list about two-thirds of these syringes. Uh, there's a good 15 uh, solid full doses of oxidium in these things. Oh, yeah, that shit gets you high as balls. We should do it! No, no, no. no. We, 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 we gotta save it. We need them for the people. We, got, we should save it. But if there's any left over, I'll... It's pretty addictive. Maybe write in the report that we used it all. Yeah, addictive, but guess who has a healing healing bot? Wait, what'd you just say? Nothing. I mean, we should follow the rules. Let's check the other Whoa. door. Oh my god, it's just like that song I wrote earlier, Crisis of Spirit. Whoa, it's happening. You wanted to take some drugs? Did the Patron loosen you up that much? Yeah, Dude, I definitely it's okay. would never. It wouldn't. I wouldn't ox- oxidize myself. But if, if listen, that's if gonna be Patron's next it, upgrade. It is addiction cure all. That's Your drone be makes it back inside just in time to hear that. Oh yeah, Padrone, you and I are gonna do a lot of good work for the world. Padrone looks proud, which is weird because you've never seen a tiny floating drone emanate uh, quiet pride. Yeah, I'm proud too, Padrone. <laughs> We're gonna do good stuff. Padrone oh, yeah. spontaneously creates three drinks and just points them at whoever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Not on the job, thank Padron. you. Padrone! My, my best friend. You're my best friend, Padrone. The drone Maybe floats up and sort of nudges you on the side of the face. Oh. It's really sweet. <laughs> my heart. Let's take a look at this other room. Everyone. Bones have not stopped. Um, nope. I think we should take some of the serums. Is it possible to estimate how many people are in the room? Is there like an observation can, window? Uh, there is not, but you can see that like, uh, you can, if you're heading over to the door on the other side, mm-hmm. with the yeah. you can kind of see there is glass in the front of this door and it looks like there might be some kind of fence inside this room. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let, let's separate okay. the syringes. Yeah. Even out. Yeah. Okay. Right. The strategy is 
Just a tiny bit at first, because too much will make them aggro. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking at you, self-destruct. Yeah, just, just a, a little, little bit. bit. The As more that you, the less you use, much? the more that might be left later. Yeah, okay, just, a, just yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, for yeah, them. How much per person? A quarter. All right. Do, two milli nerfs. Milli nerfs. Mm. It's a good okay. measurement. Uh, is uh, I try the first door. I have to reach up. You cross uh, the to the the door to Rage Pit Alpha. Mm-hmm. Uh, this large room smells overwhelmingly of body odor, and large piles of straw are matted down along the walls for bedding. It's like night training. Mo- those disconcerting moans and rasps uh, emanate from the dimness of flickering overhead lights. Uh, but you can also see there is an electrified fence here, and behind it. Um, Remember when I took the D4 in the night? Don't think I gave it back. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Are eight frenzied ragers. Whoa. Hey, now you think. Friends. All right. <laughs> Pick two. That's your target. Yeah, I got a pretty good range attack. I can just like take one and just. just just, you know, just just dart it through the fence. Gonna, dart it, yeah. I, I have good melee attack, so I'm just gonna get in there. Yeah. Okay, go for go for the biggest one with yours. Right. If you're gonna do the whole syringe on one. Now yeah. the electrified fence is currently active, so you might be able to interrupt that or disable the fence if you want to with a hack check. Can I not turn it off with my skeleton key? Mm. You can. Uh, it'll be a substantially easier hack check because you have the credentials. Cool. Wait, should we just incapacitate them before we open the gate? I'm just turning the electricity off so that... They can't necessarily get out unless they overwhelm the gate, but it'll be hard to throw things through the electrified fence. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. All right, so here's the information if uh, I'm going to help, but I'm, I'm really not that great at computers, so if someone else wants to implement the information... I'll do it. Perfect. All right. You do have you have the codes to things in this building, but that you are disabling essentially what they consider their safety system. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Normally they need guards along with them when they turn this these systems off. Hacking the gate. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Wait, I need my hacking music. Uh, I'm taking pink shirt and cyber arm. Those are my target. Cyber arm looks like a high auric. Uh, Someone you might enjoy if it weren't for the bloodlust coursing through them. I gotta wait for the drop. Uh. Three. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't quite a three plus drop. six. Nothing happens. The fence is just on. With a nine? With a nine? Do I see Damn a control nine. panel for the fence? I picked no, the wrong hacking check. song. You're gonna check the, the room. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh. You can see uh, a panel that you initially didn't notice on the wall on this side of the fence, and you pull it off, and there's a, a new, more complex series of buttons. Maybe this is where the safety controls are. I, I uh, lock my both my fists together, and I smash into it with my power smash over Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh, uh, uh, what is my cool? Nope, that's just an 11. Uh, the, oh, you're not sure what exactly you did. Um, the fence seems to lower somewhat into the ground. There's now about a two foot gap at the top of the room, but it's still there and it's still electrified. Can you pump this ox, oxid, oxidone, oxid, oxidium into yeah. the healing mist of oh, your body? Oh, great idea. Yeah, I can do that. Hey, drone. Hey, Patron. Come here, let me upgrade you. (laughs) Don't mind if you do. Can I get an upgrade right now? You absolutely can. And I can let you know that the difficulty to temporarily heal the ragers is 12. 12. Okay, tight. All organic creatures within five feet of the prototype regain six hit points. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, What am I going to take? Uh, a couple of it'll. It's going to take two successful doses of these before somebody climbs uh, over that fence. So it's going to take a, a. Let's see what what happens first. Okay. DC twelve healing check. Okay. 
D12, D12, D12. You don't think a drone can look slightly afraid, but it's uh, weird it's the way your drone D20, hesitates as it crosses the electrified level. fence uh, towards the frenzied creatures. 14. That is going to successfully... Yeah. Uh, nice. boof, 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 boof. Oh, yeah, feel relaxed, bros. Don't even worry about it. The first four ragers who had been frothing and trying to throw themselves, you were uh, that were close to uh, ignoring the shocks to their system and climbing over each other through that gap in the fence. I knew this song would come in handy, yeah. <laughs> they do, they chill a little bit. They. They seem to lose motion. The others, almost more aggressively, suddenly notice the four passive targets sitting next to them. Uh -oh. What's next? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, gosh. Is that me? Is it my roll? My turn? If you want to take an action, you can. Right now, we're, the, the drone has uh, more missed, but just needs another round to get to the next one. Can Should the drone we just... do it on its own, or can I help with the drone thing? How will you help? You should help. Um, I can help release the stuff from the drone. <laughs> Uh, can you, I hack it? Or can not you? Hack it? You, uh, you probably can't hack the drone to work faster, but you could distract oh. the attention of the frenzied ragers who look like they might turn on the calmed ones. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I approach them with happy syringes, and I go to the music, and I just try to get them to dance with me with my needles. <laughs> So you're striding up to the electrified fence that is now covering like three quarters of this room. And on the other side are these bloodthirsty creatures who are ordinary folks like you fallen victim to the rage plague that has caused so much devastation across your world. Uh, and you've locked eyes with a low auric with uh, horns coming out of her head uh, and a look of pained confusion mixed with the anger on her face as she starts echoing your movements. <laughs> Make me a ranged attack to see if you can syringe over the top of the fence. A ranged yeah. attack. I do want to point out that I am not an ordinary person. I am, in fact, a famous DJ. So, yes, sure. you know. <gasps> ordinary people like most of you, <laughs> um, but not regular yeah. person DJ self destruct. So <laughs> humble. <laughs> That's my favorite song that I did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a regular person. I am, in fact, a famous DJ. Yeah. Yes, it was a hit. Uh, <laughs> kids in schoolyards all over the country See, ran true. around singing. So I am my main person. demographic fact, is children. Stand up. They <laughs> so love. Humble. I am not a regular person. I am, in fact, a famous DJ. <laughs> you took home seven Oric Teens Choice Awards. Yes, I did. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I actually do better with melee damage by like significantly. Okay. But it's is there any way to, I can? Uh, because this is, like I said, it's a low arc. So tall, beefy, you can, you think you can just oh. with a jump get over the top here. Okay. Um, it, and what's, what do I need to get? Uh, roll and I'll tell you whether it works. Okay, well, oh, I might wait. just replace yeah, have... it with my scoundrel's luck. Yeah, what's your what's your roll on there? Um, It could be a 13 or an 18. What's your bonus? Two. 13, 15, that is going to do it. Okay, do my, take my 13. You declare your 13 for scoundrel's uh, luck. Scoundrel's uh, luck. And you, uh, to describe what it looks like, are you, how good. are you getting up and over the electrified fence to syringe this person without any attacks getting to you? I go with my two little needles instead of the daggers. I go like, doot, 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 doot. To the doo -doo. chill music, yes. Yeah, and then they also do it with me, and I go like, doot, 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 I happen to kneel down. And then I go like that. Ah! In the point of a frenzy, she stops. She's confused. She feels a new sensation, something she hasn't felt in months, which is calm. Also, I have my other hand, so go like, mm. there another one, a separate uh, one? You can't get don't, to two of them in one action. Don't do too much. Okay. Don't do too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Just do one. Mm -hmm. uh, I just do one. I guess if you want, you can make a roll for a second one. If it goes well, you'll get a second one. If it goes badly, you're falling over this electrified fence into the pen full of, of frenzied ragers. Um, I'm okay with that. Okay. Risk. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Um, so what do I need? You, uh... Wait, wait, hold on. What, do I need another 15? Because <laughs> that's unlikely. You are gonna need a pretty high check for this. Hmm. Um... <laughs> You're gonna need a 15. Mm, you know what? 
I exhibit self-restraint. I don't necessarily want to be dead meat right now anymore. So okay. I found some friends and I feel better. So I'm, I'm just going to hold for a minute. So non-DJ self-destruct. I'm not going to self non-DJ self-care. No more self-destruct. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> In this moment. Uh, as you realize you have found some purpose. You have found some people you can work with. Yeah. You have found some good you might be able to do. I did. These... I'm sorry to say it, but the looks in these ragers' faces bring vivid memories back. Oh. And you are transfixed as you watch one of them that could have been beyond reach of healing calm down Hmm. and a spark of something like life come back into her eyes in a way you never got to see for your parents. That's amazing. Um, As she stands a little unsteadily but in with stillness, uh, as three frenzied ragers remain, Great. you've both taken actions. Who wants to go next? I, I did smash the, the, uh, the. You did smash thing. the panel. It, but the thing is still on. I, it went the down fence like a couple is, uh, feet. On, but there's a gap. Great. There's a couple feet gap at the top. Cool. I'm gonna dive in. All right. I'm gonna tumble in. Yeah. I'm gonna need a tumble and roll. That's just a movement, but. Great. Yeah. The while, and while I'm doing that, the tumble, dart one of them. Heck yeah. This is your moving and attacking thing, yeah? Yep. You. Yes. You are a revolutionary. Woo! That is your class. Wow. What'd right. you get? 13 plus 6. Oh. With ease, you vault over the electrified fence, mm-hmm. unsinged into whichever corner of the pen you feel like. There are now five calm and three frenzied ragers behind this fence. Perfect. Um, and then technically, I just get another move action. Okay. So can I go to just like grapple one of the? You can. Did you get an attack in there? That's the dart. It's the ranged attack. Oh shoot! Sorry, I was having you roll a tumbling roll to get inside. Yeah. Uh, On a success, I can combine it with an attack. Yeah, roll that attack. Okay. In this case, we're using attacks to mean the delivery of the serum. I guess I forgot. I should be rolling. It. But all you need is a 12. It's an Woo! And it's a friggin' 18? Well, it's, it's way more, but... It's way more than better. an 18. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> 18 plus 6. Uh, yeah, it's a 24. Uh, so with a spectacular success, you vault in. There is something... Uh, a frenzied gnome is something to behold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, their natural energy and curiosity distorted into a cruel fury. Uh, There's something just sort of especially offensive about looking into the lost eyes of a a gnome rager, uh, which makes it feel awfully good when you pump that one full of oxidium (laughs) and it quiets. It makes less terrifying sounds. It's large eyes at you and the it's turning into kind of a whimper, but like in a good way, because it's not a pained moan. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Um, Two to go. Great. Um, okay. Uh, I, I posi- for my last move action, yeah. I position myself in between the calm and the raged. Nice. Uh, I still got some juice I, left, right? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I recover after uh, punching the crap out of that control panel. Yeah. And uh, it's a little, it's a little high for me, but I wanna. I've been trying to figure out how to shimmy up the pipe and go uh, around on the side because I want to do a shadow siphon. Ooh, tell us about shadow siphon. Okay, well, it's this thing I do with my shadow blade where I empower it with insatiable darkness and then it does extra damage uh, on a melee attack, but I want to do it with oxidium syringes. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see, do, uh, can my movement get over? Uh, it can. All right. Melee attack, shadow siphon! That's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, um, 15. That'll do it. All right. Their basic uh, uh, AC right now is just, we're, we're using the difficulty of the heal check for each one of these attacks, which is a 12. <laughs> Bless you, bro. Bless you. Bless you. <gasps> 15! 
Excellent. Now, are you trying to damage them or just use the serum on them? Just use the serum super powerfully! <laughs> you uh, absolutely get the second to last of the frenzied ragers. Uh, another dwarf, oddly enough, um, who you look dead in the eyes uh, as you... Chunk, chunk! Uh, your shadow blades uh, come deadly close and the energy from the syringes flows through them via your shadow magic, uh, infusing the frenzied raging dwarf. They are surrounded by this black mist that lifts them up like an inch off the ground and sets them gently back down. Well, that was definitely something. Uh, and there's one remains. It is a high auric. Uh, someone in tune with the spirits of magic. Ordinarily, someone spiritual, but at the moment, someone highly dangerous. Padron, do your thing, dude. You still got some juice, right? Padron does still have some juice. Hell yeah. Miss that, buddy. Uh, Padron is going to come closer to the, the auric. Make me one more healing roll to see how this goes. Uh, D12, right? Yeah. A D20. D20, yeah. You need a 12. Oh. Well done. Uh, you probably got some bonus, so I'm sure you were extra safe, but uh, nice. You got a 12. Uh, yeah, come on, buddy. Listen to the soothing sounds of my EDM. Padrone uh, rhythmically bumps over the, the, the remaining distance between it and the last frenzied rager, the high auric, uh, who accidentally raises her head right into that mist which coats her in, in this case, the healing droplets of the life-giving Oxidium. And the last of the frenzied ragers has been stilled uh, as the, for some reason, the, the, the electronics that you bonked earlier, like, finally uh, uh, switch into place. And with a slow but steady movement, that fence starts sinking into the ground. And you have eight uh, at least stabilized, somewhat healed uh, ragers on your hands. And you have now freed all of the experimented on subjects of this scientific research base that was pursuing the human rights human only rights agenda uh, under the Presidio in the abandoned area of San Francisco, fulfilling your mission to the night agents uh, and doing a little bit of good for the world. What do you all do standing there? I file my report. <laughs> you just send it right there. Agent Shigar's skill with vehicular maneuvers uh, excels significantly. Agent Shigar's spider drone neutralized in a single shot after seemingly inept acrobatics. Agent Shigar crinkled Dr. Ansler, but then negotiated unconditional surrender. Well done. Thank uh, you. Also, uh, Joy Bolt blinded a chimera, and codename Asmurf did some impressive shadow magic, <laughs> and self-destruct definitely has no remaining oxidium. Oh, bummer. Well, uh, that's, that's what the report says. You have a ton of oxidium. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, dude, let's make a Patron and Oxidium cocktail, Patroxidium, and get oh lit gosh. and dance to my new single, oh inspired Lord. by you guys. I got a As whole new album. the clock now, please. Here are my tracks. Anac an Arachnocrobatics, Emotionally the New Gerbil, Ranger Danger, Code of Heart Conduct, Crisis of Spirit. Mm. And in the belly of the beast, in the facility that is now up to you what to do with, you could control it or destroy it or turn it over to the night agency. Um, but that, um... Let's go tonight. Let's go tonight. I would like to destroy it. Oh. Because that's actually what I had set out to do originally. Oh. I will destroy what? you! Work, work, work. Oh. Record scratch! I, 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 back I on have the to clock. tell you that this was actually a really healing process to be able to cure so many rage plague people who were affected. I never told you, but I actually had to kill my parents because they were coming at me. Damn, that's heavy. Can, so can I please I'm very destroy high and drunk this right place? Now. Yeah. Can I please destroy this? Absolutely Joyful. not. Joyful. This is everything I stand for. We have to claim this back in order for Knight to flourish as an organization what if, and to restore order. What if we destroy Joyful. it? Uh -huh. 
I have a better purpose for it. What is it? I might have already done it. What did you do? I think this could be helpful in gaining better equality for all races if it's used as a facility for the unaligned. Hey, oh, think? sick. So, like, not night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on that team. Okay, also. yeah, team what? not night. Yeah, not Absolutely night. Absolutely not. I've already sent in a report tonight <laughs> about the exact whereabouts of everything <laughs> happening in this building. <laughs> or already. Including maps, <laughs> detailed <laughs> ones. <laughs> you did already submit the report. Uh, uh, you and I already, I already sent it to my real boss. We argue as we dance. <laughs> <laughs> the dance party yes. happening in the basement as our our team who have come together must determine never. what course they will take this now. Building. Uh, you've got a kidnapped scientist upstairs. You, uh, are all going to acquire a pretty good reputation with Oricom for releasing all of the victimized, uh, experimented on ragers that were in the basement of this facility. So you have a little bit of time to decide on your options. You have some new comrades you know you can trust. You have a nice dent you've made, uh, in the jerkitude of this near future world. And you've discovered a little bit more about the magic each of you carry inside of you or your infomancy. Yeah. Get that up, see? Yeah. 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 In an ongoing campaign, of course, we would try to determine which course we were all going to take. Mm -hmm. um, you would get faction bonuses that would affect yourself moving forward. You would move along your path of progression into your various powers. Uh, Destroy you. it, steal it, preserve it, party in it. What are we gonna do? <laughs> steal it. <laughs> Amy, that was so, so fun. This game fun. is so fun. I yeah, love it. good job. Andrew Manzi, it is a. I, I love cyberpunk fantasy as an idea. It's just mm -hmm. real fun. Yeah, uh, it's really again, fun to dress it's a futuristic, <laughs> magic-rich world where technology is ever present. Several yeah, forms of forgotten magic have resurfaced. You can play this game. You can choose one of the unique species, one of the cool classes. Um, it is very easy to jump into characters and start using mm -hmm. your cool powers. You can also go deep with it and like mess your own ability scores around. Uh, it is great for either the deep or uh, easy play. There comes with your monsters in the back. Comes with a nice pre-made adventure called the Presidio Heist, which you, there are still some corners of you haven't seen, but I loved y'all. It was so much fun to run. Yay, run. me! This has been TBD RPG. I am Amy Dallin. These are my amazing players. We will see you next week for some more shenanigans, and please tweet me your theories on who wins the argument <laughs> in the Presidio uh, in their new, I guess, temporary base in San Francisco. Yeah. Woo! Oh, DJ self-destruct, please. DJ, play us out. DJ, play us out. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>